Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely peeps. Welcome to the stream with me, Forte07, and some more deadly premonition. Do you guys like the pre-stream? The pre-stream screen? Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I love it. Um, first off, happy National Violin Day and happy Friday the 13th. I woke up and realized it was Friday the 13th and I freaked out a little bit. Um, <laughs> Just because when I was learning how to drive, I got into an, my first accident on a Friday the 13th, so I got like really superstitious about the day after that point, to where if I found it was a Friday the 13th, if I, if I could help it, I wouldn't leave the house. Um, but that was years ago now, and you know, can't, can't keep doing that. Because uh, you can't keep doing that. Anyway, yeah, more deadly premonition. Um... We're going to mess around with the side quests. Shut up, York. You're not going to say anything new. Uh, we're going to mess around with the side quests just for a little bit. If I cannot get, like, a new one to trigger, like it's supposed to, um, then we will, we will try and progress with the story. Um. I... It shouldn't be like a once per like chapter thing like it's acting like according to everything I've looked up regarding the side missions that shouldn't be how it's how it works but it is um penalty why do we have a $78 penalty now oh okay we kept getting stinky agent because I kept uh, <laughs> standing around in my suit all day um but it shouldn't be a one mission per chapter thing. It really should trigger after the 24 hours, as I've read. Um, some of the guides have said that some characters are very picky when it comes to time frame. Oh, it might rain in the evening, huh? I don't believe you, game. Fuck you. Um, if anything, we'll just have to see about hopefully getting past chapter 9. I think we're in chapter 8. Um, just because, again, I am worried about that stupid crash that I would like to avoid, or the, the safe corruption that could happen. Um, and then we can see about maybe, like, chapter hopping, because some of the guys say if you're really having trouble when it comes to rain, to go to certain chapters where it's scripted to rain more often than not, because that's a way this game works. Uh, get finicky rain. What actually? What time is it? Oh, it's seven in the af uh, seven in the evening. Yes. Now we could fast travel over to Emily's, but that won't kill any time. So we're gonna drive over to Emily's and maybe wait there. Zach, we need to go to Muse's gallery. George said to take the road along the lake and go north. Um, another thing I've read is if we sleep and then we wake up raining, not to go back to sleep, or the rain will probably stop after we wake up, to just smoke in that instance. So if we get it to rain, we might be waiting outside of Emily's house a lot. Um, and I might avoid fast traveling, depending. I don't yeah, actually know. Rest if you're tired. Why did I press that? Um... So, yeah, we're, we're just going to mess around. We're not going to mess around. Uh, I'm not going to dick around with side quests the whole stream. If I can't get anything to trigger within, like, the first hour or so, then we'll, then we'll move on. Um, because I at least know when the chapter rolls over, everyone feels like giving me shit to do. When they should be doing it just after 24 in-game hours. Again, why it's not, I don't fucking know. This is deadly premonition and it doesn't give a damn about my feelings. Also, why is that weird white line on the map there? Do you guys see that on the mini map? It's like mid-screen on it. Like it lines up with your little car icon. There's a little white line. Was that always there? Well, that's distracting now. Um, I should probably pay attention to the road. I said I was going to Emily's. Where does Emily live again? Um, it's been a week. I don't remember my fucking way around this town. Hello, Bofia. Yes, we're trying to do side quests, at least for a little bit. And also, hello, Twas. Oh, who's here? Quit and 
little Sally. Because he technically Thomas should be able to give us a quest too, I think. No. Control F. Thomas. And we're in the right chapter. Talk to Thomas when he's at the Galaxy of Terror and he'll talk about Carol having stalker issues. Now for this mission, after he tells you this, go outside and take a smoke break and wait 24- yeah, okay. Do this on a clear night. Bar opens around 2, 2200 hours. Oh, okay, so the bar is not even open yet, so that's probably why he won't give me anything. I'm looking for Emily's house anyway, because I am hoping it will rain at some point, because the weather, even though it's super unreliable, is that it's supposed to rain. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way, because I have to take January. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I say, what the fuck is Forrest and Willie at the Ingram's house? But he hangs out with Isaac and Isaiah, because that's not weird. It's not weird at all. What are you talking about? Milk barn. Lily! No, Emily! Emily's at the milk barn! Why is Emily at the milk barn? Is she buying stuff so we can cook? That was... That was a terrible turnaround. That was terrible. Fucking goddamn tree! This was like me last night. I went out to this restaurant and... They had garage parking but it was a bit further away so I was like, I'll just do the parallel parking up at the front. And I'm not necessarily super bad at parallel parking on most days, but last night, wowee, I did a really bad job and I did like a 30 point fucking reverse forward Jimmy Jangle thing just to get into the fucking spot. I'm like, oh, this is embarrassing. I should have just fucking gone to the, um, the garage and, and walked over. Is anyone good at parallel parking? I don't know. Also, why am I getting- is it because I don't have like a hood on my car that I see more headlights from other cars when I pass them? I never noticed that before. On the Unless this game is just acting up because I think there was like a Windows update within the, like the last week or so and with this game's finicky nature maybe that just fucked things over. I don't fucking know. Alright, well we're gonna try at the gas station. Though Jack's not going- to oh shit! Though Jack's probably not going to want to cooperate with me again because it's Jack. What's our gas and now? Gina, go away! No. At least I get intel bonus for nothing. Ah, Jack, my main man. Hello. <laughs> nope, of course you won't let me do the thing because why would you? That would be too easy. I haven't even checked that that Steam discussion thread I started. I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure like that's not gonna pan out anything for me. I've only got that one response to it. They're like, are you sure you did like the right I I know about certain requirements. I don't and it's been more than twenty four hours since I've talked to Jack here, so I don't actually understand this game, I guess. Um, it, or again, like I said, it's bugged or something. I don't fucking know. Okay. Hold on one second. <sighs> Emily should be home around 2100 hours? Ugh, it's still forever from now. Oops, ran a red light again. Uh, we're actually- I just turned on the wrong road, didn't I? She's the road up. I think? Yeah, she lives on this road. Again, if I can't get anything to trigger, we'll just, we'll just, must try and get the story to progress properly. Um, cause I don't know what else to do. Uh, 
That was a really bad parking job. I can't help but think we're going to have a repeat of last time where stuff just don't work. I don't trust this game to work when Dad, you want it at all. is there something here that you want to check out? Well, the gallery closes at 1700. Oops. Wrench. But there's no real reason to hurry. We need to pace ourselves for an investigation like this. The only thing I'm worried about is it's not raining right now. And again, the weather said maybe it would rain, but the clouds don't look like it wants to rain. Maybe we won't stand directly in front of Emily's house. Maybe we'll just stand across the street from Emily's house. That's less creepy, right? Smoking across the street from someone's house for like two hours? Staring at the house, waiting for the person to get home? That's normal, right? I don't hear rain. She's also not home yet. No, she is. It's just closed. I'll say your car's in the driveway. Um, oh, also the title screen had to go and tease me on the game because the title screen it showed me, of course, it was raining. It was downpouring nice and hard on the title screen. I'm like, why would you do that to me? Why would you show me the thing that I really want um, and not give it to me? Bullshit game. Okay. No, not Anna's house. Go to Tree of Anna. Forget about the crazy ass sound. Not normal at all. Seems more like a stakeout if you're watching from nearby. No, I wasn't. It wasn't a stakeout. I wasn't in a car. I was. I was standing on the sidewalk. That line on the map is gonna bother me. I don't remember that being there. Maybe that was always there, and I'm just dumb. Or overly tired. Again, my sleep schedule is trashed right now. I should be trying harder to fix it, but I haven't been. Because I keep doing other things instead. Okay, we're going to pick these up. Oh, I can only carry three. We're going to need them. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, look at that weather wanting to rain. Look at it. It wants to so bad. It wants to rain. Let's sleep three more hours. Then we'll eat. You don't take, uh, well, as long as you keep sleeping, I guess your health won't go down. Of course, we might get stinky agent if we're not careful, but whatever. It, I, that's just a penalty to your, to your pay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Where's my pickles? No, not that. We're not gonna fast travel there. We're gonna drive there normally. Um, even though I'm pretty sure fast traveling would be fine. Um... I don't think fast traveling necessarily affects it because I don't think time moves when you're fast traveling because it's a fast travel but just to be sure and to waste some of the time that we have to waste uh it's probably better if we just drove there we're just gonna drive there i think i want to minimize loading screens so i don't tempt the game to unload the rain i don't think that's how it works but i don't know with this game sometimes so that's why we're gonna do it this way Oh, York, you could have kept your, your useless-ass poncho on in your exactly. convertible. Need to go to Muses Gallery. Oh, I don't know George why I'm backing up the way I'm. Lake and go north. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I have to call my mom back now. Hello, and yay, it's raining. Oh, no problem. Yes, it is raining, so now we're gonna make our way to Emily's, except I don't know... I don't know how to get to Emily's from here. Okay, let's see. Can I take this shortcut? Will this shortcut help? Um, that one won't. That one goes to the graveyard. Okay, we can take that to the graveyard, straight to Emily's. Okay, 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 okay. When are we ever cons 
conclusively known anything about this game. Um, I know it's made by Swery. I know it was on the Xbox and PlayStation and the PC and the Switch. I mean, there's some things we know about this game. Now, on how it works, nah. I'm pretty sure most of the guides I've been reading are for either... Well, I mean, the one guide on Steam is for the PC version, I guess. And we know it's holding is held together by duct tape. Yeah, you know. Bubblegum spit and good duct tape, you know. That's how you hold anything together. And maybe some string. Duct tape and Twin Peaks. Um. I don't like this car on these back roads. Um, at all. I, it. I, I don't like this car on back roads. Because when you go over these hills, York just wants to fly out of the car. Also, we are taking a shit time of damage because I am literally riding the ball. Fuck. No, no, no. No, no, no. I need to take that split in the path. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This way. Ah, motherfucker. Okay, this might have been a mistake. This car is not good for this. The police cruiser doesn't go as fast. And it's handling, I think, is a bit better. So I'm not, even though I'd be like near the wall, I don't think I was bumping this much when I came down here with the police cruiser. That's interesting. I mean, that's what happens when you have different like weird stats for your cars, but. Okay, so. Did I take damage for every second I had that stupid thing on my fucking ow, hood? Is that what I heard with that noise? Because if that's the case, that's dumb, because those those barricades don't- I think they don't usually do damage to your car, it's just walls. God, look at that. We were at 100% health with this car before we went through there. That was a bad idea. It might have been safer if we just took the long way. Are you, like, flying out of the top on the hill? That's what it felt like, right? Like, the camera was rising up out of the car. Like, even- th I don't know what happened there when we went over the railroad tracks. This car does not seem to like hills. It's obviously not an off-roading vehicle, but holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think they would take that into account with, uh, the driving physics, but it looks like they want to? Fun fact, most programmers don't know what they're doing. They just write a bunch of stuff until it works. That sounds about right. Okay. I just- I just overshot Emily's house. I am pressing the brake. This car does not like to stop once you start pressing the brake. It takes a while. Okay. I'm just gonna get out right here. <laughs> it just works! It just works. I almost wish this game had the problem that Fallout 76 had where it triggers quests when you're not even near them. That'd be great if it, you know, triggered quests randomly, you know, well, not randomly, but even when you're not near them, maybe. Use this. No! Why did I do the radio? I'm so used to going in there. Wow. Um, we're already where we want to be. I want the cigarettes. Cigarettes and walkie-talkies look the same, right? Okay, no, the... The antenna's on the opposite side. You, you, you leave me alone. You guys know what I meant. Okay. Time to smoke until, um, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, eight o'clock. No. Seven o'clock rock. <laughs> I like how in your, your other world pause screen it's also raining. Oh, I got hungry right before game. No, we're not. Oh shit. I don't have anything to eat and the milk barn's closed because it's raining. That's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, this root beer is for tiredness. Can I eat this worm? Use. Use it with a fishing rod to go. No, eat it, York. I'm not eating the onion! I need that onion! Wait, no! She's home! Eh. 
Emily, let me in. It's raining. Is she even here or is her car just bug like dumb? No, she's here. I see. <gasps> she has the notebook next to her. Emily, let me in your house. It's raining. If we start taking damage from hunger, what we'll do is we'll just heal it. We have the extra life suit on. It's fine. Emily, let me in. York won't fucking let me smoke anymore. Well, he will. He's just gonna keep kicking me out of it. Okay, let's try it anyway. Alright, alright, alright! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Fuck! Why? Emily! Why won't you let me in? Probably shouldn't. No! Totally try and get in there. Fuck it! What? Into your house, Emily. Hello, Brazen. I bet you someone somewhere in the world has hollowed out a walkie-talkie to store cigarettes in. There's also this weird stigma in the industry that larger code bases are better when... No, not really. Clear, concise, and efficient code is something of an art out... Uh, of an art these days, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, let's check a different side quest guy while we're waiting. We'll wait. We're just gonna wait out here. Around 1900 hours, but I'm here. Did I wait too long? One guide says this, another guide says another. Emily, let me in! This other guide says 2100 hours. Emily. Emily, Emily, Emily. Let me in your house. Can I peek in a window? Can I be a creep? <gasps> oh, fucking can! Yeah, yeah! Of course, there's the loading screen. Loading screen scared me right now. <laughs> Emily, the fuck are you doing? Hey, let me in. Let me in, Emily. Why do you have two ceiling fans in one room? That seems a bit redundant. Superwoman. We've already looked in our house, but Emily, hey, let me in. I want to cook. I have an onion for you. <laughs> I'm about to say, holy shit, can she see me? Oh, look, we can watch her go on the, the bike. Go, Emily, go, do it. I believe in you. I'm about to say, that started before. I, I'm about to say, if they don't animate her pedaling, even though it's making a noise, I'm going to get really angry at this game. Um, <laughs> we now enter the horror film section of the game where York watches from outside in the rain, demanding to be let in. Yeah, exactly. Emily, let me in. This probably doesn't pass any time. We've probably just paused the game. Fucking god damn it, Emily. Let me in. I know you're home! <laughs> Howdy doody! <laughs> Howdy doodly, neighbor. <laughs> let me in, Emily. I'm angry that she's exercising in jeans and a gun holster. What? You don't exercise in jeans and a gun holster? Can I look at- let's just look in through the windows. Again, it probably pauses the clock, which is sad. I want to cook in this mess of a kitchen- oh god, we can actually look at that green pot because she's not in the way. Oh god, it's- oh, that's sickening. I don't want to look at that. Emily, I want to be in here to help you cook, so you're not making that shit. Oh, that's amazing. Let me in. If you can't exercise in your patrol uniform, it's a bad uniform, probably. <laughs> not that I would know, because I've never done that. Looking through windows? I'm gonna sound like a creep right now, but I like it when I go get my mail, especially at night, and my neighbors have, like, their blinds kind of open for their apartments, because I like seeing how other people arrange their apartments. I'm not trying to be a creep, I just like kind of peeking into other people's lives for, like, just a split second. <laughs> His heart rate goes up the longer he looks in windows. He's worried he'll get caught. Really? Is that a thing? I wasn't paying attention. Let's, let's go. Let's. Emily, let me in. I was- I didn't even notice. 
all that good furniture and they waste it with plaster ceilings. Oh, it does! Look at that! It goes up slightly! Oh, neat. That's fun. Very slowly, but I think it does. No, you are right. It is going up there. Well, you didn't stay on the bike very long. Get back on the bike, goddammit! Come on, you have a notebook. Let me in. Let me into your house. Is it too late? This game says 2100 hours. We're out here. Oh, whenever she walks towards the camera, that actually makes me scared. It's like, is she going to do something? But she obviously doesn't see me just staring in her window. No, this isn't fair. Game. The ceiling is slowly killing me. <laughs> Some of the design choices in this game are kind of weird. I'm gonna have to go buy more cigarettes later. Emily, we're gonna wait until 10. Or when York fucking stops me because he's hungry. Fuck it. Oh no, Emily, let me in. Let's look through this other window. I mean, at least she doesn't have wallpaper. Emily doesn't seem like a floral wallpaper type of girl. Nope, still over there. <sighs> this is the worst view. I wonder if you can come in here and peek in on her and she's just sitting in this chair and you'll be like, Hey, Emily. I also hate, though, um, the looking for this. You, can, you, you can't do, like... In between this point and this point, you can only do those two points. It's like when you're in the car. You don't get any kind of like dynamic look around. And that's just kind of annoying. I wish you could just knock on the door. York, you know she's home. There should be a mechanic in this game. If you know someone's home, you can just bang on the door and be like, Hey, let me in. Not that that's any less creepy. We're just getting money for, you know, observation. Emily! Why would you have call for someone if you're not even going to do it? You know she's there. Oh, why? It's raining. Well, just hold on. Let's see. George raining. These are really the only quests, by the way, that we need it to be raining in. Um, besides one other, but I have to do the one with the stupid tree of Anna photo before I can do that. Um, so, I don't think, I don't think we're getting in here tonight. She just doesn't want to do it. It's raining in Emily's home. Raining in Emily's home, but she won't... <laughs> <laughs> Won't let me in. Deadly premonition. You have to specify that it's for deadly premonition. If not, that's gonna be fucking... Wait, where'd she go? Emily? I can't sleep during the day because some guy told me that it won't rain if I do. What? <sighs> Waiting for Emily. Worse than watching paint dry. Bye by flibbity flube Emily where'd you go let me in the only wallpaper you need is bubble wrap it's a good joke since bubble wrap was originally marketed as wallpaper wait what for baby proofing I do draw her wall for a living where'd she go did she go to bed I can't look in the upstairs windows I wish I could that'd be funny This one person's making it really hard because he, he refuses to smoke in game. Uh, 
Oh, okay, well, I guess Emily went to bed for the night because I can't fucking find her, and she won't let me into her house, so I can give her this onion that's been in my pocket for the last week in game. Um. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. Actually, no, because you not only can't you do two quests with the same character in the same chapter, which I had already done, but there was just barely time to finish the quest at chapter 13, because Emily has fought. Wait, so that's a thing? Is it be- No, because she has it available! Emily let me in, goddammit! <sighs> well, I guess she's sleeping because I don't see her in the house and she's not letting me in. Totally fair. You've probably seen enough bad wallpaper for several lifetimes. Yeah, I'd imagine so. It's really bad when you can tell it's someone else that... That, well, that they tried to do it themselves because they were told that they could do it themselves. Um. Funny thing is, is she's home and awake, but I can't go in for some reason, even though looking through the window, I see her up and walking around. Yeah, totally. I go around 8, 9 o'clock, and her home is open on rainy nights. The easiest way... Uh, da, da, da. God, all the peeling. Yeah, I can't tell you how many people think that and almost immediately regret it. And then I'm paid to regret it for them. They're like, oh, I'm really handy. I can do it myself. And then they do it and it's like crooked by like 30 degrees. And you're like, I'm sorry. Do you know how things work? Actually, wait, we're not sleeping yet. I'm going to pick up the pickles. Yes, that's what I said. We're going to go pick up the pickles. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat those real quick and then sleep so we're not just instantly dying when we wake up. Oops, 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 oops. Of course, we're probably gonna get stinky agent soon because we keep sleeping in our suit for 24 hours. That thing's just gonna get wrinkled to hell. Mixing mud is one thing. Applying it correctly is an art. It literally takes years to learn. I've been through the fires. You're using a controller for the game, right? Yeah, I'm using a controller. Actually, wait. I wanted to check something. Oh, look. It's still fixed. It's amazing. <laughs> I worry about that every time I boot up this game. It's like, is my aiming going to be broken? <laughs> um, What time is it? Let's sleep for 12 hours. Hmm. Now, is it when it, the game makes that noise that that it stops writing? No, because does it, does it always make a noise? Like the piano thing? When I sleep? I just heard it that one time when it started raining and I took it as a sign that it meant something. Stinky agent again. Come on, I'm walking away from it. Who the fuck is this? Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> They're probably going by. Why the fuck is York's car here? I'm gonna sleep in the forest again like a weirdo. Okay, hold on. We're going to check people before we go to them, I guess. Crumble, crumble, crumble. 
use this. Oh, well, there's a Gordy going out. Oh, no, she's just outside of the thing. She's still in transit, though. I think. I think when the icon is like their their icon is bigger, they're moving to a new area. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay. I know we said we were driving, but I don't want to drive right now. <sighs> Even though we checked the milk barn, we're gonna go there real quick. Even though I'm stinky, I'm gonna go in the store. Shit! I wasn't running when I opened the fucking door! I don't know why that's a thing. Why can't... <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Lily? I already checked you, but you're... Nope. I'm not gonna do it. How to raise vegetables to be able to easily make. If it is an idea of cooking, I know we've already read those, but they make me laugh. Even though I'm not laughing right now, because I'm sad. Alright, game. Fine. You win. Chapter 7 is good for most quests, but I'm in chapter 8, so fuck you, game. I guess we're just gonna save. No. Oh, goodness. Save! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna change, though, because if you're a stinky agent and you have the flies, bees, whatever the fuck they are, floating around you in a cutscene, I mean, in-game, they will be there in the cutscenes, and I don't want that. So, here. Turns in, you have to get there around 1900 hours when it's raining. Oh, for Emily's, apparently. Emily's quests are available 1800 hours to 2000 when it's raining. I noticed some of the fan sites list her being available after 21, but I can't tell you for certain that's wrong. George is after 2100, though. Are you fucking kidding me? We went there too late? Hold on. I know I said the game won, but we're going to try one more time for Emily. We're going to get a penalty for Stinky Agent. Because somehow the fucking FBI knows that. Um, what, what suit do you guys want? No, we're going to go for Rainy Stripe. Be because rain. Wait. Shit, we're inside. I can't see what. T wait, wait, wait. I can't see what time it is. It's on the map. Is it? Okay, it's ten in the morning. We're gonna <sighs> sleep here, even though I don't need it. The problem with sleeping at the Great Deer Yard is I can't tell if it's raining outside or not because I'm indoors. Okay, we're gonna eat. We just can't get to Emily's so late. Maybe that's why, a um, you know, York is so stinky, because he has a fucking onion sitting in his goddamn bucket. <laughs> you need to get food. I did. I just ate my pickles. I had pickles on me. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure- Oh, Polly! You're not asleep. Hey. Oh. Hi. It's gonna cost me money for this, but can I get something better to eat from you? Oopsie. Mmm. dogs and also keep these in my suit jacket oh I guess I can only carry two hot dogs I'm gonna double fist those later <laughs> I 
You have to get there around 1900 hours. The fuck was that noise? That was not York running. Was that supposed to be like birds? Oh, I'm about to say, you guys want to see what happens if you run around here at midnight when it goes all silent hilly, but I don't want to. We'll do that later. You'll see it later. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to the Tree of Anna and sleep there because sleeping inside is a pain in the ass. Yeah, because I can we only cook once per chapter. Oh, it doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Well, we don't have to pick up the pickles right away because we already... We bought hot dogs. <laughs> Gee, Forte, how come it almost you don't fist two dogs? Because <laughs> I'm wearing a rainy stripe suit. Look how cool I am. Shut up, owl! Hey, it actually stopped hooting. No, it's still there. I can hear it. <gasps> it made the noise again! Is it that noise? Does that noise signify rain? Or was it the suit? <laughs> no. Eat a hot dog. Eat a hot dog. Okay, actually. Um. No, I like owls. <laughs> owls are cool. Just I don't have time to listen to owls in this game. I gotta go cooking with Emily. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick up these pickles. I'm not driving there. Driving should be- f having George drive me over there should be fine. I like how George has nothing better to do than come pick me up every five minutes. George! Come here! I need to go be creepy outside of Emily's house, though I'm pretty sure he's been creepy outside of Emily's house a few times. No, 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 no. Owls are fine. <laughs> okay, it's- it's closed. Why did the rain sound effect stop? Why did the rain sound effect stop? I'm not- No bueno. Okay, now we're just gonna- Oh, there it is! I found it! Okay, game just lost its shit again. That's fine. Oh shit, we should have picked up more cigarettes when we were at Polly's. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna stop at- At 8 o'clock. One. Oh wait, seven. Oh, seven o'clock. Sorry, I punched the mic again. Okay, we're getting hungry. I accounted for that, and that's why we grabbed pickles. We're also tired. So... Going to drink some coffee. Oops. Back to smoking. All right, seven o'clock. Five. Six. And seven. And we're stinky again. But it's open! I don't care! <laughs> I didn't want the flies to be in there for a quick scene. Ah! Don't care now! <laughs> Let me in. Emily! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Emily! Hi. Hi, Emily. Do you like my flies? They're my friends. 
Hey, Emily. Something smells good. Really? I'm trying to make a meatloaf this time. Ooh, meatloaf. meatloaf huh? Nice. That's a basic dish for every household. I have some yep. meatloaf My in mother the fridge. Pretty often too. Would you like to give it a taste? Oh uh, God. Uh, well, I can. Don't worry. I've done the poison testing already. I'm and sorry. I made something pretty tasty last time, didn't I? Emily, maybe we should do this another time. No. York. I'm gonna say that better not kick me out. You better be eating that fucking meatloaf. So, I swear to no God, taste. York. Emily, I have to admit this one is hard to comment on. One can insert it into their mouth that much. <laughs> but I'm not sure if the human digestive system can handle this and digest it. That's how nice, oh, York. On, Emily, no need to get depressed. It's just like last time. We just need to identify the missing ingredient. <laughs> and, and just find that horrible looking kitchen. <laughs> into a tasty dish. So, what is it this time? I'm thinking a vegetable. One that becomes sweeter when heated. A sweet vegetable? I have no idea. Then Zach and I will bring it to you like last time. Okay, I'll keep trying by myself too. Yeah, the flies are probably right at home. Looks like she's cooking the angel at Sage Moses, you know, the pillar of fire guy. <laughs> Yeah, they probably like that green sludge that's in the fucking pan over there. Emily only ever cooks at home on evenings when it's raining. Find the vegetable that becomes sweet when heated that she needs for her next dish and help her out. Well, game, I came prepared. Because I used a guide. Emily. Okay, we'll just walk away from you for a second. Hello. Whew. What is it, Agent York? Is that is that sound because I have flies and I'm stinky? Shut your shut your mouth, Emily. Here, have this on you. Emily, the answer is onion. <laughs> is onion? Onion. <laughs> Brecken. It's onion. I wish it showed the item floating above his hand, Legend of Zelda style, when he handed it to her. The answer is onion. <laughs> the meatloaf is finished. You're already eating it. And it tastes good, too. It really is good, isn't it? Probably good enough to sell. Emily, this certainly tastes good. There's still but smoke in the background. Did you turn the oven off? my job to become a cook just yet. It'll be a tough career move. You think so? I'd like to get other people's opinions, too. I can't recommend that. I enjoy their eating while talking this, and you know. eating invisible. Well, she's apparently then really good at cooking because it's an, an inv invisible meatloaf, eating. even though I see something down there. I can't believe you're the only person no, there's something this fine meal with. There's something on the plate, so they're just pre ingredients they're both pretending to eat to be cooking. polite to each other. Praise the taste. And yet she still gets angry. You're gonna hurt yourself with your knife if you keep doing that. Could you? Could Are you? Are all women this way? Do they all just snap like this? Either way, I can't figure her out. I'm not gonna comment on that one, York. Okay? You just keep eating your invisible meatloaf. Agent York, I'm sorry if I got a little emotional on you, but I'm glad I was able to make a good meal today. She just handed me a knife that turned into a trading card called Industrial I Waste. This isn't much, but. Please, I, I want you to have it. I'm sorry. All you gave me was a trading card. All we got out of that was a trading card. Thank you, Emily. As a member of the local police, I can't be bothered by it much, but your speech at the town made meeting made rainy days even more scary. Sorry. Not sorry. Good. Wait, wait, wait. Not goodbye. We're gonna save. <laughs> ah! I think it's the next... The next side quest. We get the weather doll. Whatever the fuck the weather doll does. I'm assuming it helps with the weather, but I don't fucking know. Oh, that was trading card 52, though, so we can cross that off my list. But now we're stinky. And that's a new good. How come eating Emily's meatloaf didn't, you know, fix my health? We could have ate an onion. Look at that. I didn't notice, but we had three this whole time. Because only one's missing. Fuck. I'm gonna start misreading Greenvale's Nightmare. 
Vale, where all this weird stuff would make even more sense. Um, I actually was almost typed Night Vale when I was making the tweet, so you're not the only one. Uh, let me go back to the hotel. I made the waste myself! <laughs> I want you to have this picture of industrial waste, thanks so much. <laughs> Maybe it's something where she can only make good dishes with the worst ingredients. Maybe. Oh great, the great pink cloud from beyond is illuminating the windows. Yeah, totally. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes I think it's white, sometimes it might be green in this game. Polly, hello. Oh, hi. I need some cigarettes, please. Where are my cigarettes? Let's see, we got eight, right? That's 13. We're just gonna top those off. The meatloaf is probably killing you on the inside while eating it. Ah, uh, probably. Okay, thanks, Polly. Bye. Well, at least we have backup onions for food. Okay, that fucking paper. Is that noise supposed to be rain? You can actually hear it raining when you're inside? Alright, um, we'll just go back to the regular agent suit. Alright. I'm also mm. concerned that York's valet hits the brakes so hard every time he drives. That's George! That's George driving us around. Um. Because we got that radio from George. And he said, hey, if you ever need help, feel free to give me a call on this. But I don't think he was expecting me to call him every fucking goddamn day. Man, it's been forever since I've listened to Welcome to Night Vale. I mostly listen to RPG podcasts these days. I've never actually heard Welcome to Night Vale. Um, I just never got into it. I wish I could, you know, see the bigger map. But no, I'm inside. Um. Oh. I could have gone outside through the store this whole time, couldn't I? And I just forgot about it until right the second. D D yeah. Well, he needs to go easier on the brakes. The squealing does not sound good. Oh. Look at this. That's cute. Play on the swing, York. Get on the swing. You're no fun. Oh, that's fun. Anyway. Came out here so I can check the map. Oh, was I the fuck? Okay, so... So Gordon's not here. Um... Mmm... What? Oh, it must be an apartment complex. Like, why the fuck does Fiona live with Carol and Thomas? That doesn't make any fucking sense. She doesn't. She just lives in the same apartment building. Okay, they're still at home. time is it? Oh, it's really early. That's fine. No one's anywhere. Hmm. Oh, I can just go into other rooms this way? I could. Well, we're not going to. The lighting back here is very irregular. Um, I was gonna say I'm, I'm, I'm actually annoyed with the other side quests in this game because they should technically be triggering and they're not. So we're probably going to move the storyline, finally. Um. Because I don't think anyone is going to give me anything else until I somehow- Well, not somehow. Until I actually progress the fucking story because it doesn't want me to do anything else. But let me check one thing. Uh, not that one. 
Got that on. Deadly premonition can't pays Jack. We need to look up Jack because I don't know why he's not triggering either. How do you keep bribing him? The option to do so is gone. Generally, if a chapter has multiple side quests, you can only complete one per chapter. Although Jack only has one, it kind of counts multiple. So it's definite that you can only bribe him once per chapter run? Yeah, but you can do it as early as episode 1, chapter 1 through restarts. You can also do Gina's at the same time, which is far easier. Yeah, how come I was able to do Gina's in one sitting? But Jack, you have to complete the chapter. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> um, Deadly Premonition Sigour Sigourney Quests. Let's just gonna double check these real quick because the game doesn't want to do my fucking thing. Need help with roaming Sigourney Quest 5. Um. Nope, that's not helping at all. Alright, so I'm assuming everyone else is just not going to want to do jack shit with me until I move the game along because fuck me, that's why. Um. I guess. Even though I swear. Her pot is in a perpetual bad mood. You can only do one Sigourney quest per episode. Why do none of the guides say this? When they say sleep 24 hours, they mean before you do someone else's side quest? I want to understand what this game is doing to me. But why don't any of the guides specify this if this is the case? And I have to go and search up everything and bash my head against the keyboard. Oh, I mean, that makes it a bit easier if I can understand how it works, but at the same time... So... Is the same thing... Dudley Premonition Lysander quests. Can I only. Oh, why'd I come here? That's right, they're closed until like 900 hours. Uh, I got up too early. I'll just smoke in the middle of the road like a responsible FBI man. We got cigarettes. You just smoke in the middle of the road. That's what normal people do. We'll wait until 9 just to make sure. Why- why aren't they open? Why aren't they open? Do they only open for lunch? God damn it. Thomas, make me food! Thomas, where are you? I'm hungry. Charcoal brown. Whatever the fuck that is. Wait. Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving sale? When does this game take place? Thanksgiving? I'm sorry! What? The fuck? The game's just trolling me now! It's rained three times! In the first hour of dicking around and- We need to crown fund a giant printed map for Forte. I'm- I'm sure I could always just draw one out if I- Oh god, that would take forever. I mean, I could. Why didn't I just save in the police station? I could have saved a dollar. Right now, I mostly listen to Sneak Attack and One Shot. I also have a bajillion episodes of Critical Hit to catch up on, but that podcast has been going on for over a decade. 
I know I've been um recommended critical kit before. And I think sneak attack. The question is whether the vehicle actually stops when you hit the brakes. Is it like with Gork's convertible which takes a whole block to stop? Or do the passengers suddenly get acquainted very, very closely with the windshield? Or through the windshield? Why am I saving again? Whatever. Thomas! Make me lunch. I'm hungry, please. Thomas, you better be in here. God damn it, Thomas! Thomas, 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 Thomas! Thomas! Aw, oh, that's cute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, I like this little detail. We're gonna go look at this. Look at that. He has a little embroidered towel that says Thomas on it. It has strawberries on it. Oh, that's adorable. That actually looks great right there. Oh, I want some of that. Thomas, why do you have so much fucking saran wrap? That is clearly saran wrap. The box says saran wrap on it. But look at this little towel. Oh, <laughs> Thomas, make me food. Cool, I can't say I've heard of those ones actually. I'm into the Adventure Zone. Adventure Zone is another one that I've heard. At the end of time, and other bothers myself with friends at the table next. I remain a rebel and like to listen to lesser known podcasts. I also a hassle to get caught up or deal with older episodes, which made me drop Drunks and Dragons. One Shot is really good since they're constantly changed systems and settings. It really gives you a look at what's out there besides D20 based games. And your so <laughs> time. Nah, no aneurysm right now. Where the fuck is Thomas? Is he in storage? No, why would he be in here? Thomas. The thing says you're here. Where are you, Thomas? Are you in the material room? Thomas! Oh, you went through the door right when I did. Oh, no, he's coming in. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Hi. Make me lunch, please. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Go use your cute little cooking station in the kitchen. It's adorable! Yeah, they don't have anything new to say. Blah, 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 Sorry. Yeah, not dying anymore. Woo! I love eating food! Oops, wrong way. Thanks, Tommy. You're a real peach, you know that? Hello, FBI. I ate a really tasty lunch. Okay, goodbye now. Oh, critical role. Yes, sorry. They all start to run together at times. Small mouth bass. If I see this potato loading screen one more time... <laughs> I hate you, game! Oh, you want rain? Here you go! Fuck you! Okay, there's no... Well, that means Milk Barn's not going to be open because now it's miraculously raining, even though it wasn't when I woke up. Actually, that means everyone is going to be home or closed or whatever. So, you know, yeah, we might as well just do stories because... I, okay, they had left home. I like how as soon as it started raining, all these people just went back to their house. Alright, sure. Whatever. I'm not gonna judge. Maybe I'm gonna judge a little bit. You people are weird. It's just rain. But, because we're going to move the story along, I'm going to save again. Have you tried using the Wind Waker to make the rain stop? Ah, uh, wish. I wish. I wish I had the Wind Waker. Okay, I know we just saved, but we're gonna save again. I'm gonna quit out, make a copy of my save, because we've had stuff happen since we started. So, we need to exit out. I mean, I probably could have just done it without exiting out, but I'd feel safer if we did it this way. So... Properties, local files, browse local files, save data, this one, documents. Paste. Okay. Browse.
run as administrator. Yes, double check controls are still selected because sometimes it doesn't want to be. Okay, so now we'll actually go do story. Hooray! Story! <laughs> Deadly Premonition Chapter 9 Crash. Now, I'm just pulling this up. So... I have it there just to make sure we don't do anything. We might have to skip one of the cutscenes um, because apparently watching it corrupts your file. So if you open it, it's just going to keep crashing apparently. Um, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to just keep an eye on it and maybe... Previously during the investigation, F. Yeah, yeah, FK and the coffee. Great. Mm-hmm. Now the other thing is, and they're like, or just keep playing and don't save after like the chapter ends or, and then you'll be fine. You have to get like past chapter nine, episode two or whatever to bypass the weird bug, apparently. I like to think George just Tokyo dressed the car into a parking spot like Ace Ventura. Yeah, probably. George, George seems like the type of guy to do that. Um, one person says to wear the blue suit. I don't think the blue suit really has anything to do with the thing loading. That just might be a fluke on their end. But yeah, let's let's go do the plot. Possible fix for the crash at the start of chapter. Wait, there's a start Jack, at chapter we need nine. To go to the Muses George said to take the road along the lake and go north. Possible fix for the crash at the start of chapter 9. If someone gets stuck at the cutscene at the beginning of chapter 9 after leaving the museum, I was able to get past that by using a hex editor to change the value. I don't want to use a hex editor. No. Why? I shouldn't have to use a hex editor to get past things in the game. It's already a bit, you know, much that I have to constantly change compatibility mode just for my gun to aim properly. Game. Okay, I don't actually know which way I'm going. I don't know why I started driving. All right. Mission is this way. This way. Hmm. Okay, it actually looks like it would be faster if I teleport it to the hotel. No. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hang on. Oop. Ah, fuck. We're not careful. We're gonna blow up this car. Okay. Another left here. Oh, sure. I can't kill that pole. Okay. Take a left here. Here. We'll take a roll. A roll? Why did I say that? Take a right there. Take this over towards the lake and turn left. Yeah, I can totally see York spitting out Ace Ventura trivia while George imitates Jim Carrey's iconic Lake of Glove. I don't know if if George is necessarily a one-liner person. Ah, this car. Okay, we're just gonna get rid of that for now. Oh, I didn't turn on my windshield wipers. How careless of me. Oop. Or my lights. It's dark out. It's raining. You shouldn't use your wipers and your lights when it's raining. And visibility is limited. And maybe put the top up on your convertible, but York's a rebel like that, so won't. Okay. That's probably why they give you so many different chapters to to do side quests. Ah, and some of them... Oh, okay, this car. Wow. Um, and I think the chapters that you can't do 
side quests on might be like dungeon chapters, maybe? Because you basically get locked in doing the dungeon, I think. For that particular chapter. I don't actually know how the chapters and episodes work in this game. But whatever, I don't care. We're gonna go going to the art museum. The art gallery. Am I going the right way still? I think so. It's Usha's house coming up. The area that Usha lives in, I think that's Usha's house, and the area that Sigourney lives in look the same, but I know Sigourney lives on the left side of the road. Um, I think I want to go straight. Of course, the map looks like it's telling me I want to go... I didn't want to go straight. This goes to fucking... This is Becky's house. I don't want to be in Becky's house. Hoorah! Alright! A, a complete 160. I wanted to do a 180 game, but okay, fuck you. That, that time that was intentional. I pressed the button to do the thing. But it did too much of the thing. And that's no bueno. Okay, so we'll just cut across here. I'm legitimately tired though of this car's music track. <laughs> Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. What did I just get an extra for? I got an extra I didn't see what that was for. Why'd I get money? I don't know what happened there. Nightbird way. Nightbird, huh? Okay, sure. Nightbird. Well, we're getting closer. Motherfucking car! God, this car is scary in the rain. I don't like this car in the rain. Okay. Which road do I want? The inside one or the outside one? I think it's the outside one. It looks like it's the inside one. It's the inside one. Okay, cool. I'm not going all the way around this this loop. Alrighty, fingers crossed though that the game doesn't completely poop itself here in a few minutes. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, I'm here. I'm here now. Muses Gallery. Emily, Mr. FBI agent made it here all by himself. Don't patronize me, George. I know it's been a week and a half. George, Emily. In game. Sorry to keep Maybe you two. Away. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Diane alone. You two just wait out here. What the hell are you saying? To wait out here. I know, I know. It's very rude of me. But also very important. Say I know one I more time, sure York. That I meet with the important ones one on one. Otherwise, it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. <laughs> you made us wait for a week, and you won't even let us come in. Fuck you. <laughs> Go on then. You're not gonna listen to us anyway, are you? No. You're starting to understand me, George. <laughs> that Fun means fact. no. <laughs> Let's go and meet Lady Diane. Can we not call her Lady Dina Diane? That's a bit. That's weird. Now I can actually see story in this. I've only ever really seen you running around town, getting mad at side quests, and wondering when it was going to rain. I mean, this game isn't that long if I just did the story, but every playthrough I've seen of it just does story, and I wanted to see the side quests, which Hello. is why I spend time running around doing the side quests. Hello? There's some crazy echo in this room. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but jeez. No Let's take a look around then, Zach. Okay. I like art museums. <coughs> um... No. We're we're not going to save. It's it's going to be a dumb idea.
But we need to see if we can get through this without saving. That's a really bad idea. Because we had to drive all the way out here, too. Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> so just after the art gallery cutscene ends, my game crashes. Hold on a minute. Try to say before you enter the gallery to see if that's the problem. There is a known issue. There is no fix to this. Usually if you run into this sort of problems, you can smoke six for a few hours, but you don't get the chance to do so in this case. So back up your save before chapter nine. Um... If you want to prevent stuff like this from occurring, only manual save at phone bo booths and don't auto save. Hold on, we we need to double check. Cause not saving in this game for me is is dangerous. Hello, Olivia. Do you like art? Yes, yes, I do. Well, I, I mean, I, I like trees. Trees? Okay. Ah, but I see because these are all tree paintings. Do you come here often then? Uh, well, no. Just sometimes. I'm sorry, I really need to get back to the diner. Is that why you weren't there that one time to serve me cornbread? Zach, she was lying about something. Really? She said trees. Paintings of trees. Yeah, she wanna see trees. She need to come here to see trees. Okay, yeah, There's you, tons you of got trees it. outside. Uh oh. A common occurrence is for the game to crash during the cutscenes at the start of chapter nine, going from the art gallery to the diner and corrupt the save file. Uh oh. <laughs> um we're just Fingers crossed. Olivia's memo. Can I read it? Not from here. A key to the gallery? Okay, okay, cool. Name. Olivia's memo. A. Tree at sunset. B. Red leaves. C. Dancing red butterflies. Alrighty. So George, did you notice York looking in the distance and talking to himself? He was ca still kind of facing us. I wonder if he noticed, notice, knows we noticed. I don't know with George sometimes. Crap, now I'm scared. We have that backup save. We should be okay. What is this? It's at least five meters tall. Pretty big for an object art. I don't know French. I'm sorry. Pointy branches, ravages are sharp something. Good taste on the curator's part. Greeting us with such a cool and sharp setup. Right, Zach? Yeah, it's okay, but how is it? How is it? How is it staying up? Are there supposed to be support wires that we just don't see? Because if not, that's just that's magical. A painting of a forest, delicately drawn, soothes the mind. Good stuff. When you, yeah, it's nice. Do I? Okay, please say I don't have to look at all of these. No. Okay. Cool. Why would I have to come up here? What's the point of up here? Uh. Okay. Just, just the place. Good. Wait, where does this? Oh, I didn't see that. The fucking staircase. A tree spiracy, if you will. If you will. Yes. Tree spiracy. A tree conspiracy. I mean, Kason did give us a baby tree, and he constantly has a tree stapled to his head, his, his hand. Oh, that's a good noise. I know it wants me to go that way, but I refuse. I like how it- does this area really have to be blocked off? I like how areas that are blocked off just have nothing on their walls. Okay, we gotta find tree paintings. Wait, why would they block- why would you block that off? Why- wait, what's this? Oh, save point. Uh, I don't wanna save in this area. What? 
Okay, that's weird. It's locked. Alrighty, whatever. We'll just... The painting used to be displayed here. The title plate reads, Red Butterflies Frolicking. Though the painting itself is nowhere to be seen. Wasn't that one of the paintings we needed? Whatever. We'll go to where the game wants me to go because I don't actually know what to do in here. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Oh, okay. No, not ready to go down there yet. Oh, I see. Okay. Need the code. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. That was a very... A very dramatic sound effect. It's locked. Okay. So... What we pretty much need to do is we have to go... I'm gonna say, what the fuck is the point of this room? Why am I down here? There's no paintings down here. Is this a door? That is not a door. Oh! This is creepy. Okay. I don't think I need to be down here right now, but we're just gonna check. Oh! Oh, if I get in the way, it won't open. Some of these have items in it. Probably the one with the red one has an item in it. Getting Stanley Parable lives. I never played Stanley Parable. Here's the painting. Red butterflies frolicking. A large tree and red butterflies. It's almost as if it's burning. Okay. So, can I take it? No. Wait, I need that. Well, that's one tree. Hold on. Where's that memo? Main. Dancing red butterflies. Okay. Butterfly. We're gonna say one. Red leaves. And sunset. I guess I can't get that out of there. It's just there for protection. Though these containers that this painting's in doesn't look very clean for a painting. Oh! Just just a smoked salmon in one of them. That's where you keep that. Sure. Totally. Totally. That's where I keep my smoked salmon. Down in my creepy basement. Of my art gallery. Okay, we're gonna go back upstairs. Sunset and red leaves. So, we need to look at tree paintings. Pretty sure the game kind of points you to the ones you need. Or it doesn't. can kind of tell which ones you need. Well, okay, never mind. Autumn Lee is a beautiful painting depicting four trees in their reddish splendor. Okay, well, red leaves, so four. Alright, so we need sunset. All of these paintings are going to be of ones with red trees. I mean, there's this one. I guess that one doesn't count. Okay, it should be of ones of red trees. Foggy forest, like an actual view somewhere in this town. Is the purple fog intentional? Oh! Well. Keep that in mind for the future. Purple fog is important in this game, technically. Alright, where's this other fucking painting? Have we been in this room? No, but I don't think it's in this room. What is the point of this outside area? Why not just have the fucking door closed? I don't... Okay, that's red leaves... Or 
butterflies. Where's the goddamn painting? Oh wait, that first one she was looking at. Duh. That was... where was that at? I've just run in a giant circle and I'm already fucking lost. Good. Great. Amazing. Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Over here. No? I wonder if they have to find each painting in the order they appear in the memo. No, um, each each painting will have a number of trees or whatever in it, and you have to put that into the keypad by what order they are listed on the memo. Oh, right, where'd I fucking come in at? That door's locked. People I'm looking for is there. Up here to the left, door to the right. I don't think you have to find them in order. Because if that's the case, it's not going to happen because I'm fucking already lost in this goddamn building. I think this is the door you want. Oh, so what the fuck is that noise, Rain? Okay. Twi trees at twilight. A beautiful painting of six trees bathed in a sunset blue. Six, four, one. Okay, there we go. No, it was just a matter of me remembering where the fuck the other painting was. Get it. I'm so glad that they put a little light on this door to tell you when it's open or not. Like I said, there's no point in you having this. I can put it to far better use. I'm taking it with me, okay? That's fine by me, then, as you wish. Carol and I think Diane talk second. Hello, Carol. Okay, bye. Will you be at the tree later and you talk to- The FBI agent, right? What was that face? Just wait a moment, please. I'll be right with you. I don't like this lady's tone. It makes me uncomfortable. So there's no way you could have been at the scene of the crime. That's right. I was drinking at the bar with Nick until early morning. I'm sure if you ask him about it, he'll say the same. Okay. Diane Ames, art gallery owner. Are. I'll be sure to do that. But one other thing. That argument with Carol just now. She's always like that. She thinks of me as an enemy. Always bickering at what I say. Is there any reason for that? Perhaps because someone she liked ended up with me in my bed? Well, that would explain it, yes. If I may be so bold, who was the lucky man? Why are I you- I sleep with anyone I wish. Uh... Anyone I prefer to sleep with. I guess she had her eye on one of them, but I don't know who it was exactly. I could sleep with you, if you like. I'm um... flattered by your offer. But I don't think that would be appropriate. You're exactly the kind of woman that a man in my job should never get involved with. Isn't there was she... stuff missing from that oh. subtitle. <laughs> but okay, whatever. No thank you, um, Diane. Too hot and heavy in here, I don't like this. <laughs> I'll be frank. Right now, you are not a suspect. But both Zach and I are certainly feeling shaky about you. Yes, yes I am. If you want to remain in the clear, just watch yourself from now on. Oh, you don't know, do you? Artists and art lovers, we love a good thrill. Do I? Thank you for your help. I have nothing further to ask you at the moment. Goodbye. Alrighty then. That, cool. Bye. Is, is that supposed to be like a seductive, mysterious look? Because it didn't scan well. I guess so. Okay, so we got through that at episode um no oh that ooh i don't i don't like not saving in this game that makes me so fucking nervous off topic ooh don't starve together is on sale two copies for six ish oh that's not bad don't starve together is a fun game 
and I've only played it with another person before, but it was fun then. I had a chat anyway. with Diane. She said she was at the bar drinking with Nick at the time of the murder. We need to confirm her story. Let's talk to Nick at the diner. Very well, Agent Morgan. I have to head back to the department and clear up some paperwork. Go with Emily to the AMG diner. Okay, then. I'll show you the way. The diner's open from 9 to 2100. Just as we suspected, Zach. Diane is the key to this case. I have a feeling she will lead us right to the criminal. So wait, what chapter are we in now? Kaysen. That's Kaysen. I d Looks yes. Looks like the show has just begun, and it has an all-star cast. Oh goodness! I mean, good for him. I. Uh, hmm. All right. What chapter am I in, game? How do I check what chapter I'm in? I don't. I'm in chapter 9. Okay. Proceed to the game as normal. Speak to Nick when York and Emily go to the diner, but do not speak to Olivia afterward, which will trigger the cutscene that ends with the crash. York can't leave the diner until he speaks to her, but the way around that is to wait either a normal time or using a cigarette. Mm. You'll sleep until the next day. Go to the diner and talk to Olivia. For whatever reason, the game will not crash anymore when the cutscene ends. Oh, okay, you still see the cutscene. Say, I don't want to skip cutscenes, but okay. We, I just want to get out of chapter nine, so we're actually going to go directly there. Ch episode two, part one. Let's get to the diner. We need to talk with Nick and Olivia ASAP. Okay. Um, get in my car, Emily. We're going to take my fancy car. Come on. George can't ride with us. It's only a two seater. She getting in? Oh, cool. Emily, do you know a man named Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Yes, I, I know him. The, the sapling salesman, right? He always uses strange comparisons when he talks. I'd like to know more about him. What does he do when he comes to town? He's he sells a salesman, trees. So I guess he, he sells things. Maybe he comes on vacation. I, we haven't seen many tourists recently, but he comes pretty often. Is that all? Well, now that you mention it, he seems quite friendly with the Ingrams. With Isaac and Isaiah. <laughs> this music Maybe doesn't hit with this cutscene. Okay, I will. If Zach doesn't approve, I won't go for it. I'm sorry, man, but this body is a democracy. Er, kind of, yes. I make the decisions here. We come back here later. I know there is a trading card here, but again, I, I just want to get through this chapter because this crash has been worrying me for the last couple of weeks. Hence again why we've been just dicking around doing fuck all. Um how to get to town um let's see take this road and turn turn right i want to go right right goes into town where it should right no i'm a failure i don't know where jack shit is in this fucking town it's because the map's upside down again because north is to the bottom of the map good Good. Okay, go up here and turn left and just go straight on down. Alright, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's go! You can do it, we can finish the chapter. Keep those fingers crossed again. I'm avoiding saving and that makes me nervous. Emily, don't you find it a bit suffocating to be around George so much? Well, we aren't always together. Says the person anyway, who constantly I'm calls him to drive him around, but sure. Women are very adaptable. No, it's not like that, actually. And George is hard-headed, sure, but he's also a hard-working <laughs> man. That's why the townsfolk trust him so much. The very epitome of a rural sheriff. That's right. He isn't some hotshot FBI agent. This place isn't like the city. Everyone knows everyone else. What about you and Anna? Were you too close? Oh god. No, no, no. no. Close, really. I got I agent to have much in common with But I got agent nowadays. honor for destroying that pole and vandalize and a penalty. And I mean, <sighs> I don't have much interest in any of those things. There is a gap between a teenager and being in your 20s. Everyone's different, that's all. Me and you too. Zach, I'm not liking the way this conversation is heading. Let's concentrate on driving instead. I'm I'm trying. This Oh motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to turn left. 
I want it to go this way. That was all on purpose. You guys can't claim otherwise, aside from the noise I just made. <laughs> Emily's like, yeah, this is normal. George drives just as well as he does. Probably. Judging by the, the brake squealing, I'd imagine he drives just as shittily. Shittily isn't a word. Huh, I wonder. Oh my god, it's here! <laughs> no, Gina! <laughs> Hold on, Emily, I need to make a stop. <laughs> oh, it didn't it didn't refresh the fucking donuts. The lights. The circle. I'm gonna call them donuts. I don't know. Jack Jack Gina! Come on, Jack. Oh, you're just not gonna come out now because I have fucking Emily with me. Gina, no! <laughs> Why? No! Uh, what? Are, are you kidding me? Gina, Gina! <gasps> oh, not Gina, Jack! Yes! Jack! I got so distracted. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't spit on my car. <laughs> yes. It's gonna go by really fast. Let's see. Benjamin, today's yeah. a big day. Great. I'm one lucky fella now, ain't I? Thanks to this monkey in a suit, I got ten of you now. Makes working for an honest dollar look pretty bad now, don't it? I have this a... green, I'm gonna get me a new muffler. I better get over to the generals and look for one. Reminds me, man, that general. He was going on about some high-fly car that just came in. Said it was the car that FB idiot drove into town with. Must be a sweet sound and ride, though. FB idiot. I bet with a little tuning it would run pretty smooth. But... Ah, what do I care? It ain't my thing. But, but we haven't given him ten. It only said four hundred. What just happened? What? But we didn't. We all. But we. But, 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 but Emily, did are you my good luck charm? What just happened? The thing only said four hundred. We gave him 500 in total, I think. Or did it let me give him, like, ev did, did it let me give him the rest of it or something? Because it said 400. I, um, I don't know what just happened. What just happened? I just gotta let him talk. Let's just focus on getting to the diner and cut the chit chat. Okay, fine. I, I don't know what just happened. We we weren't that close to finishing that quest. I had tried every fucking day, and it wouldn't let. What just? I. What did it do? I mean, yay, but was why? I just want to understand why. I don't know what happened. What just happened? What just happened? I don't understand. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Made it. <laughs> it's like a glove. <laughs> but I don't know what just happened. Ah, no. I, not a no, but what? The A and G Diner. Wonder what the A and G stand for. Any ideas, Emily? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know either. Air and gravity, perhaps? Access and games, aliens and Godzilla. Who knows? Do those even go Is it together? To know? I mean, why don't you just ask Nick? Because he won't fucking talk to me oh, most wait. of the time. But first, I need to eat. Wonder what's good here. I'm sorry. Have we actually not seen the center sandwich scene yet? No, we did. Did we? Did we not? Look, no, this is it. Because Emily's with us. Hi, oh Lydia. yay, fun. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special <laughs> <today> <laughs> is cookies. A 
a turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Just turkey and lettuce for me, Perfect. please. God damn it, York! I don't like gravy. It'll be on the FBI. <laughs> okay then, I'll go all out. Oh, I said get whatever the say, fuck you want. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. Upstage in my turkey sandwich. Thanks. Okay, Olivia, go get me my food, please. Yay, it's Harry. This is Olivia Cormac. Mm -hmm. I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I thank you a bunch. Do you? Yes, of course. Just a moment. Tilliston, do you do you do that rhyming yourself, or does Mr. Stewart actually you tell you to say this? One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Senator sandwiches Mr. for Francis everyone. York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. I'm a weird old man that likes my, con just ordered my concoctions lunch. of a sandwich. Tell him he's a pussy for not trying it. Do it. Tell him. Tell him in a rhyme. Mr. Francis York Morgan. <laughs> That's what he said. Ah, that is. Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. That's not what I fucking told you to Still, say! I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Tell him? Yes. <laughs> Make it rhyme. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stew. That wasn't rhymed. Oh, you're right. Where's the rhyme? Try. You didn't make it rhyme. Yay. Uh, jam, cereal, whatever, sand. That looks like someone puked on it. Don't eat that. Your. Hmm? What just happened? I can't believe it. This is fantastic. It's the really Rip Off cool. Green Day song's back. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Olivia's face, though. That looks painful. She looks like she has, like, too much Botox, Olivia. I mean, fine, but... Oh, look at that. Looking he dying. thinks he's cutting it. He thinks he's cutting that, the perfect couple, that cabbage or lettuce. Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. I would never try Not a sandwich sandwich. I don't like well, jam. When I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I can't believe I'm installing this game right now. What I game? Where you're coming from. Half Life Three confirmed. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker. When I, I was wish Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> okay, music just died. <laughs> you, a punk rocker? Don't laugh at me. Nobody took my side, even when I had good grades. People rejected me just because of what I wore. <laughs> I was young back then, too. <laughs> really? I thought you would have been <laughs> older back then, York. You Insert obvious age joke here. <laughs> blah, 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 whatever. Look at you. No makeup on. Dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. What? Okay. What's talk wrong with him. any of that? Let's talk to Nick. What's, what's bad about her not wearing makeup? I don't wear makeup. I don't have time for that shit. Oh, now my health gets... Oh, I... Carol! I need you at the tree! You like to come here alone? So you're going to bother me here, too. Is prying into people's private lives part of you? Well, yes, technically. My goal is to catch the killer, and I'll do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. Then go on, pry away. I'm just going to ignore you. Alright. I feel like we should... No, we'll save after the cutscene. After. Nick, you're letting me in your kit. He's gonna yell at me. Oh no! Is he gonna let me in? I'm working here. You can't nope. just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Alrighty then. 
Jack told me I look good. That's all I needed back then. <laughs> Let's leave him in his. But we need to... Okay, I guess he's standing at the window. I don't have to go in there to talk to him. What's up? Could you tell us what you were doing the night Anna was killed? I was at the bar with Diane. A likely story! What did you two talk about, Nick? What? Why is this, in, why is this structured like this? Whatever. Rembrandt and Turner, is that a problem? No, no problem. If you think Diane did it, you're wrong. Oh, no, that's not it. I already said she wasn't a suspect, but okay. Oh, so it's me you're after, isn't it? You're wrong again. So much for the FBI, huh? That isn't the case either, Nick. I think there's something both of you are hiding. You can tell when people are hiding something by their reactions. Eye, tongue, and hand movements. Sweat, dry lips, neck angles, and such. I'm working here. If you aren't ordering anything, get out. Okay. Technically, we need to talk to Olivia to get out of here. But, game says... That the game will crash. <sighs> Hold on, we're gonna double check. I wanna save so bad! Game crashes after episode 2, chapter 9. Game crashes. After that, the game crashes. Well, we left the art gallery. I'm getting a crash at chapter 9, but not the same place as most people have. When I go, I have to meet Olivia at the backyard of the ANG diner. The game oh, crashes as soon as I open the door. Uh, X to doubt. <laughs> uh, we have a backup. If anything, I'm just going to have to replay stuff and just not say it. Uh, nope. No, I can't do it. Okay. We're going to try the fix. Technically, talking to her should crash the game here. We don't want that to happen. So... Thirteen hundred hours. We need to smoke until twenty one hundred. But nine nine o'clock. We'll smoke until what's his face kicks me out. Um. See, were those lines on the clock there too? Yes. Yeah, it's on the video feed. I don't remember those lines being there. I'm seeing all these lines, I don't remember being there before, and it's bothering me. Okay. So, smoke, wait until 2100, Nick will kick you out, and I'll sleep until the next day, go to the diner and talk to Olivia. For whatever reason, the game will not crash anymore when the cutscene ends. Apparently. Allegedly. Who knows it Lee. Okay, 9 o'clock. Kick me out. Sorry, we're closing up. Could you leave now? Is it that time already? We're open from 09 to 2100. Yeah, people Very well. talk like that. That's it for today, then. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay, cool. So, we're going to go back to the hotel, sleep for 12 hours, come back here, and hopefully things should be fine. Oh, I don't know when's a good time to save. I want... <sighs> Is this the only part in Chapter 9 that crashes? Okay. Oops. So what the fuck is my walkie-talkie? George, take me home. Not my actual home. To the deer yard. I like to order the truth, sir. The truth is, they are talking about art. Apparently. Okay. 
I guess we could have slept at our house, but I like coming here because of just cut uh, save point access, but I'm not saving right now. I feel like we need to save at some point. I don't like not. Oh crap, we don't have any. Well, long sleep. Hmm. And we stinky agent. Good. Do you not get penalized for being a stinky agent if you wake up like that? Oh wait, that's right. We don't have to go all the way up to the front. We can just go out here. Okay. Go back to the diner, watch the cutscene, and then I'll save. Because I can't. I can't just avoid it. <laughs> Sorry. Punch the mic again! Yeah, Angie Diner, great. Okay. Olivia, where are you? Okay, fingers still crossed that. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia, if that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First, what were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. Nick said he was going to the bar for a couple of drinks. Couldn't he have drinks in his diner? Does he go to the bar often? Do they not serve Leaving alcohol you to hold here? Up the fort? Y yes. He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. Do the three of you ever go drinking together? Well, you see, I I'm really not into art. And your husband is well versed in the arts, then, I take it. Oh, yes. Um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. He doesn't take me as the <laughs> type, but okay. People just aren't what they seem. All right, fine, yes. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right, Emily. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. You can be anything and a liar at the same time, but... Except maybe an honest person and a liar, but... An art. That's right. And... So, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Didn't seem like Nick brought you there. You were there alone. Yeah. I... Well... I like trees, is the thing. And that's why I went there. Nah, huh. Surely you'd be better off in the forest rather than an art gallery, then. Uh... Yeah. I think you went to the gallery Olivia. not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? Uh, <laughs> can we talk about the texturing on York's face so you can see like every fucking or blood vessel in it? The right place to ask. Like his complexion looks almost I'm unhealthy. In the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. Okay. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? What does that hand movement mean? Why did they look at the camera? That's weird. When you guys just keep looking at each other, if you're in the car, whatever. I don't know why I question this game and the logic in this game because there is no such thing. Hey, look, tomato. Tomato's not potato. Is that better? When has York ever seemed healthy? 
Uh, well, true. But... Of course, maybe his skin looks like that because of our shitty sleeping Agent schedule. York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Oh, no. Okay, then I'm going to make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Don't tell me to waste time, okay, York. sounds good. See you later, then. Back about Olivia. Uh-huh. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip columns. Uh, sure. Let's hope not. Actually, wait. Am I hungry? I'm very hungry. Hey, Olivia, I know I just left, but I'm coming in there, one, to use your phone, because I'm going to save now. I think we're okay. Because we were able to leave the diner. And we got past the apparent first thing at the beginning of the chapter. We haven't had any crashes so far. Oh god! We've been dying so much our health is at half. Olivia, please give me food. <laughs> oh no. Meet me in the backyard. You, you have to work on your sleeping schedule York. before you start looking like York. There for an hour after we close up. Great. Oh my god, I can't- Oh no! I can't buy food from her? Salmon away! Huh. <sighs> that was scary. Wait, I'll wake up looking like a suave FBI man in a red and black suit? Hmm. That's an interesting, you know, uh, side effect to a bad sleep schedule. <laughs> Kitty. The museum salmon saved you. Yes, yes it did. Because Olivia won't give me food. Talk about bad business. Oh god, it's nine in the morning. Chapter 9. What? Oh, trading cards. I guess I could have gone to the police station to get food too. Thomas could have just made me lunch. He does knew what they were doing when they put that salmon there. Well, Olivia's not going to give you food, so here we'll just put that. Wait, I can go have lunch at, with Polly too? She never has that option when I'm there. Oh, let's go have lunch with Polly. Is Kaysen going to be there because he's at the hotel? I want to go have lunch with Polly. Let's go have lunch with Polly. Can't get lunch at the fucking place you're supposed to be able to get lunch at. The diner! I still don't understand why that turkey sandwich there is so purple. Kaysen. Polly's not there. Polly. Polly, 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 Polly. I want to have lunch with you, Polly. Where are you? Are you in here? Where is she? Polly? No, game said I could have lunch with Polly. I want to have lunch with Polly. Where is she? Polly? Where is she? She's not even in here. What the fuck? But the ge the the game said Polly was here. I want to lunch with Polly. Let me just get a coffee. Meals are served buffet style. Nothing noteworthy worthy on the menus. With the hotel being this big, I'm not worried about the quality of the food. But I'd opt for junk food any day, right, Zach? I hear I hear footsteps. They're not all mine. Polly, there you are. Oh, you want coffee? Hi. It's really good today. Good, good. One coffee. Co Wait, I'm only getting coffee? I wanted lunch. Where did she come from? 
She wasn't on the map! Do not act without thinking first. Lucky number three. So, my lucky number is three today. The first case I worked after joining the FBI had three victims. I just get coffee and a fortune? That... What? Unpredictability lies ahead today. Lucky place, train station. An unpredictable life is a wonderful thing. There isn't a train station. Cases may come flooding in, in this like town passengers at rush hour. That I saw. There's train tracks, sure, but I don't think there's a train station. Um, well, I just got extra for fortune telling. Okay, whatever game. I wanted to have lunch with Polly, but I guess all I get is coffee because it's so early in the morning. Go have lunch with Thomas, then. Game said I should have been able to have lunch with Polly. Probably has lunch with Kaysen, because I'm not in there, but she won't have lunch with me. I see how it is, Polly. Screw you. See if I ever come back with coffee ever again. Been refreshed. We can do them. We can do quests. Oh, I'm so excited. We have to waste time anyway. <laughs> quests, yay. Die, Sanders, please. Potato. <laughs> oh, it makes me want to have potatoes now. I think I have potatoes in there. I know Sigourney's over there, but we'll talk to her. We want to get Lysander's quest done anyway, because um, Jack said that they got my car in. The car that they're talking about is the one we crashed at the beginning of the game. You can actually get that fixed up to drive around. Oh, there you are. You came at a good time, son. Do you think you can handle it? Oh, can I have my car? Quinn's car, next car, Lily's car. Okay. Can't get it until we... We do all his missions, which is just finding yeah, stuff. Potential soldier. I want you to take a look around J10. I'll need high gear parts. They should be around there somewhere. If you can find them and bring them back to me, I'll be able to increase the top speed of your vehicle. Now that sounds like a plan. Which? It's a fail-proof plan, soldier. You must learn to trust your superiors. Around J10, then. Your orders are clear. Which? Now roll out. Who who are we? Autobots now? Fuck you, Lysander. Um, I'm sorry though. When it says top speed, does it mean of the car that I use? Because I don't know if I want my car to go faster. Find the high gear parts in the junkyard that generally use it to increase the performance of your car. Like which car? The police cars or the car that I actually get into to drive? Because if my convertible goes faster, we're going to be just launching ourselves off of, you know, hills. J. Ten. Oops. Where's my wrench? Where's my wrench? All right. I think that pretty much cements it that we have to progress the chapters if we want to do the other side quest, though. Ah, York. You could get through there. Stupid game collision. <laughs> Neat. That was easy. Oh, getting really close to being at the top of that stamina bar. Okay, we'll just walk the rest of the way. What do you want to get? What? But you asked me to go get a thing, and you asked me what I wanted to give you the thing that you asked for. Will save your life <laughs> she put those so close to your face. Oh, these are great. 
speed determines everything on the battlefield, life or death. You're not going to tell me another story about stomach pains, are you? Son, I told you already. Don't mock your superiors. It's a very serious story this time. Oh, it starts boy. with a question. Why did we lose the battle? We had firepower and air support in the beginning. But looking at the results of a war of attrition, we learned a lesson. We lacked speed when speed was needed. It was our superior's fault. I thought you had to respect your superiors. Attack. That would have saved more of our soldiers. Although crybaby Timothy was doomed either way. You really hated that sergeant, didn't you? Don't talk to me with that tone, boy. Words cannot describe how much I hated him. I was at war with a crybaby. No one has enough lives to survive that. He poisoned us with our own food. Washed all our weapons with soap and water. Launched a signal flare thinking it was a firework. Set off countless traps laid by the enemy. More than half of the unit had to return home sick because of him. I don't know how much of this to believe. <laughs> Believe as much as you like. <laughs> I'll keep my side of the promise and get to work on your vehicle. Okay, then. If the word hate was inscribed on every nano angstrom of his so being, much, it wouldn't describe how much he hated Timothy. It. And would a general really even have direct contact with a sergeant? Questions keep mounting. Oh, big boss is I've back. I've increased your exhaust and optimized your higher gears. That His dog tag is going crazy. Look at that thing. Speed. But there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. Can you, so ma can you make it to where it doesn't, you know, get damaged as much? That would be great, actually. Alrighty. You're done for now. Is Sigourney still out here? Or did she fucking move? She moved, didn't she? Nope, she's right there. Cool. I'm gonna drive Sigourney home real quick. Hey, Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Okay, no problem. By the way, what's in the pot? Does that really <laughs> oh, look at her little Let's dance. Get going. Hurry. Look at her little dance. Once we get her home, Zach, let's ask her again. Okay. I don't know where her house is from here, though. Scrapyard. Scorny's house. Okay. Also, we don't need to get me a printed out map. I actually just Googled a map file, and there is a map file on the Deadly Premonition wiki that actually labels where all the more notable places are. And I think it cuts out, like, smaller roads that don't matter as much. And it has shortcuts on there, too. It's quite nice. Sigourney often wanders the town when the weather is nice. Having been told that her pot is getting cold, you now have to take her home. What is she doing with that pot outside, anyway? She's taking it for a walk. Now, get the car going. My house is over by the lake. Three, two, one, go! I think we just got a speed enhancement on our car. All right, we're actually going the wrong way to get to our house. Gotta go here. Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. Shut up, Sigourney! Apparently, there is a time limit you have to do this in. The game just doesn't just doesn't want to show it to you. My pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry! I'm going. Why do you have to drive so safely? I'm not. See my pot is getting cold. Can't you see that we just almost flew off the road? It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry! Step on it. Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? I Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. Why aren't we there yet? Oh my god, Could Scorning. you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. Oh shit! Oh no. God, I hate this car and its handling. This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot. 
path is going to get cold. Also, no, I don't know why I didn't think about looking up a map until right now. Shut up, we're here. Aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my path is going to get cold. Sigourney, get out of my car! I would have wanted to see what sort of nonsense you'd have added to your version of the map. Oh, Maybe a monster in one of the lakes or renaming places with multiple cursors. Describe your feelings toward them. So tell me, Sigourney, just what is in the pot? Pot. Probably. You're just hotboxing it. You really want to know, don't you? That's yes, why I keep asking. Very much. Fuck you! Well, I'm sorry. I can't tell you. The pot has to make that decision, not me. Okay. Then I need to get to know the pot better first, right? That's right. In life, you can't skip steps. You have to take one step at a time. How does she afford this giant house if all she does steps. is run around with a pot all day? Also, that pot is not in her hands in the shadow. It is a phantom she pot. There is a reaction. Do you guys see this? It's a ghost you pot. Ask the pot. The pot will answer. It's that simple. There's truth to what you say. Yes. The pot is full of truth. I think Sigourney's had too much to pot is the, the problem. You are searching for. You have to ask the pot. Listen carefully. The Sigourney. more steps it takes to cook a stew, the better it tastes when it's cooked. That's a ghost pot, though. And... Uh, okay. Oh my! My pot is getting cold again! Go inside, then! You have to talk so long. Oh. But I... But I did... <sighs> Alrighty then, we did it. That was a thing that happened. To to reference it back to Twin Peaks, though, the log lady she walks around with a log, and whenever Cooper tries to ask her something, she's like, "Oh, my log saw something." He's like, "Oh, what did it see?" He's like, "You have to ask the log." And Cooper's like, what, what? She's like, okay, if you're not gonna take my log seriously, I'm not gonna talk to you for now. Come back to me later when you want to actually listen to reason and listen to my log. Okay. I'm gonna come here. Maybe have lunch. Save. I think we're okay to save now. Thomas! Thomas! I want lunch, please! <gasps> Thomas, I know you just sat down, but can you make me lunch? Thomas. Hey. Uh, hello? Uh, uh. No, he, they won't let me have lunch at the diner, so please make me lunch instead. Thomas. Have you ever eaten Emily's cooking? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> what exactly are you asking? Uh, I was just wondering what good reactions from both of them. Are. You know, perhaps an unbiased opinion of one who is himself a fantastic chef. So how about, have you eaten her cooking? Ouch. I have. Just once. And how was it? Well, that's not an easy question. <laughs> Emily <laughs> is pissed! How can I say this? Cut it out, Agent York. He's pleading the fifth. He has the right to remain silent. Don't try and force him to say something. He has the right to an attorney. George, and what are you trying to say? Anything I say may be used in a court of law. Let's just let the topic of Emily's cooking go, okay? I can't do that, George. I want to know. I have jurisdiction here, awesome. George. Fuck you. So tell me, Thomas. Well, for lack of a better word, let's just say <laughs> it's Amazon-style cooking. Ah, that was well said. I'm impressed. <laughs> Wow, he can actually apparently laugh. Uh, uh. Oh, 
You were lacking words, were you? <sighs> Let's get back to work. Oh, look at George. He is so happy with that joke. Also, I just now realized that this door here says don't open for whatever reason, and that's why we can't go through it. Eh. Okay. Well, we had lunch. It's a pot of gold. Yes, it doesn't exist, apparently. It's an invisible pot. It's a ghost pot. Is that the best kind of pot? Ghost pot? Mmm, root beer. Could go for some root beer right now. Okay, what time is it? It's only one o'clock? Shit. Um... Let me guess, it's too late to do milk barn thing, isn't it? Munich. Well, we don't have to do that mission anymore, because somehow we've already done I honestly don't know how that worked. Oh, she's just now leaving the milk barn. Shit. Okay. Oh, look, Emily's home now. Because we gotta wait until evening. I thought she said she was going back to the department. She just fucking lied to me. I'm so mad at her right now. Tree! Where's the tree? You have a type of pot now that you call a ghost pot. That's what it is. It's a ghost pot. I'm sorry. Why is Diane at the great deer yard? Is she sleeping with Polly? Or is she renting out a room to sleep with someone at the hotel? I mean, I'm not- I'm not judging. I'm just curious. The fuck is the tree? God damn it, this map. Tree. Tree. That's the fucking lumber mill. Tree. Tree, 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 tree. She's not here. Why is she not there? I don't even know where Carol is. She was at the diner last, actually. Is she still at the diner? Diner. Diner, diner. She is still at the diner. Uh, okay. Thanks, Carol, for doing you, I guess. I do need to go to the milk barn, though. We can't do the side quest because Lily's leaving. But, uh, that means we might not be able to get what we need for the next Emily mission, though, because Lily's not there. Let's see. Or wait. Lily, no. Why must you leave? Or did we actually pick it up and put it in the box? Why well, I mess up that sentence? I meant to say you now have to breed a type of pot and call it ghost pot. Oh, Jason. Hello. Let me see. Did I already buy these items? I did. Okay. But it's not raining and we got to do the second part of this mission anyway. Um double check our list real quick.
Okay, well, we can't do that one because Diane's not even at the art gallery because she's doing something with Polly. That's my head cannon. No one else's. Can't do that one yet because she's not here. Can't do that one yet. Um, still trying to get more cards. But that one. Gotta wait. Yeah, see, because I think chapter 10 here, after we do the next mission with Olivia. Um, triggers another overworld's or er, other world section. Sorry, um, and that's why it's not available on these chapter lists because you can't get to them because you're locked in doing that particular mission at the time. I would like to do these ones that have chapter nine listed, considering we are here. But I need Carol to fucking go to the fucking tree instead of dicking around in the diner. Anyway, while we're dicking around again, how's everyone's uh, Friday been doing, huh? Forgot to ask. I don't know why I came here, because I knew Carol isn't here. But I want to believe maybe she'll show up. Because she's not locked in at being at the museum. Unless she's now locked in at just being at the diner, which is stupid if this quest is available during chapter 9. I just say I'm surprised there hasn't been a good rant this stream. Uh, I don't have much to rant about right now, I guess. Nothing's really happened in the last couple of days. That and I am, again, just a little bit tired because my sleep schedule's so flip-floppy, but, you know, it, it happens. Let's see if she popped up. No. Of course, why was she? Alright, they're there. Why does Carol never show up? Wait. Oh! Maybe she's going to. Go until... three? Shit! Yes! Carol! Carol. Wow, she really is just ignoring me. Wait. Aren't you waiting until after I leave, you butthole? Around here. Did you see... See what? Oh, nothing. Just forget it. Oh my god, this conversation is going nowhere. Zach, I wonder what she was looking for here. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What does she want? I think she wants the picture. Someone is walk taking walks in Anna's forest in the early afternoon when the weather is clear. Find this person and hand over the out-of-focus picture from the twins. It could be a new lead. Did you see an infinite pile of pickles? I, I put those there. Hey, look. She's wearing stiletto heels. This better be good. Um, picture. Here you go. Is this your picture? <sighs> yeah, it is. So what? 
I thought I lost it somewhere. Isaac and Isaiah picked it up. They found it here. Really? Then I'll have to thank them for finding it. All right, someone has an attitude. So this is you and Anna? What makes you think that? I mean, that's been pretty obvious with Carol, almost but... every day when it's not raining. Uh, how chashy! Just to look for a photo of someone else. Impressive. Is that what you want me to say? And you're right. That's me and Anna in the picture. Silly, isn't it? It's so blurry, you can't really tell who's in it. So who took the picture? A ghost. There's a smoke particle that's stuck down there. Do you guys see it? Anna did. I was like, oh my god, did my game just freeze? I didn't really want one. Do you so guys see that smoke particle? By herself while I was moving around. And that's what happens when you try to take a picture like that. She was always so silly and happy. She took so many pictures. She always printed a load of them and gave them to everyone. Everyone just threw them away. So what about this one? <sighs> you don't make copies of the blurry pictures, do you? Why did you point, York? We weren't even that close. But I couldn't throw this one away. I see. One last thing, then. She doesn't even have a cigarette in her taken? hand there. Where? <laughs> Nowhere special. Okay. Anna's room. Oh. oh, I guess you are his sister. I was like, why do you have Thomas's card? But okay, that's trading card nine. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Try not to lose your stuff anymore. I'll give you this as a thank you gift for getting my picture back. I don't want you thinking I owe you anything. Zach, did you hear that? Why would she say, nowhere special? She's trying to hide the fact that it was indeed a very special place. Well, you did a bunch of housework today. Also, I had the displeasure of bringing one of my cats back inside after I ran out. Oh no, he's really sweet most of the time. Really sweet most of the time, but hates going back inside once he's out. I've chased him down before. You just want it to be free. But you don't want kitties to be free. They could get hurt. All right, I'm really lazy. I need to go check in with Isaiah, but I don't want to walk and or drive all the way there. George, please come get me and take me to here. Because that place is different than just the tree of Anna. Oh crap, it's closed. No, where are they? They were just here. They're technically here. Grandpa, why did you leave your fucking grandchildren? Are they gonna come out? I love this white void of a window. They just have nuts, acorns or something on their desk. Game says they're here. And I don't think people technically teleport in this- well, they might teleport a bit. I mean, I teleport, but a lot of them seem to actually travel in real time. Unless they've been put to bed really early or something. Maybe they're over here. Of course, I know these windows don't have blinds on them, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, that's gonna look just really creepy. Nope, they're not in there. Damn it, Carol got there at 3 and we ended that quest at 5? Oh wait, no. It is 3. Sorry, that's 1500 hours. I, I am bad with military time. What is that? Mission 13? Isaac can be found outside the cabin around 1500 hours. But... Uh, it's really his thing. He loves being outside. Farmer Stray. I have some shots of him just resting in a tree. Happy as can be. He can climb down trees too. Smart cat. Hmm. Ooh. 
Who are you kidding me? Okay, guess we're not getting in there right now. Go fucking figure. Willie. Nope. Apparently Lily leaves her errands and then she comes back. Oh, she is coming back. So I guess you can actually do the the part-time work after or in the afternoon. Okay. That's what I was waiting for. It's like, Kaysen's heading over here. He hangs out with the twins. So, my reasoning... <gasps> yes, they're coming out! Nice! Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Not you. I need Isaac. Oh, you better fucking come out here, boy. I swear to God. Isaac! Hey, kiddo. There's someone in the forest. Someone, not a goddess. Oh, you are really a ghost? Yeah, maybe it was a ghost. I guess he's at an okay distance from these kids. You met her? Who was it? Do you want to know? I want to know. I want to know too. Tell them, please. It was Carol in the forest. I think she wanted to meet the goddess too. Oh, so it was Carol. Oh, Carol and Anna were friends. But she said that they Does weren't that really. Clear everything up for you? Yeah, that clears it up. Thank you. I'm scared of ghosts, but not of Carol. Thank you. Good. Who gave you this? We can give you this. God, they like to say redundant shit. Oh, look, a wheelie trading card. Cute. Okay, bye now. Children's bye now. eyes are always so honest. York! It makes me wonder about the stuff we lose as we become adults, Zach. York, you're not in frame. Please stop talking to me at this angle. That was weird. Okay. So. Alright, yeah, so he's coming to visit the kids. You. Hey, York, good weather today, huh? These are the kinds of days where you just want to take a walk forever. Alrighty. Alright. So. Oh, she's, she's just hanging out there, is she? Okay, cool. Whatever. I mean... More power to her. I guess it hasn't been that long since we talked to her and then she got there. Alright, so is Lily at the milk barn? Lily? <gasps> Lily's at the milk barn and I can do her quest! No! Yay! Progress with the quests! Oh, this is nice. At least they figured it out. All the guys say just fucking wait 24 hours not that you can't just do multiples in the same chapter apparently that's just misleading lily actually wait do you there's a phone outside we better save real quick i know i just ran in here and we have to go through another loading screen but now open at 9 a.m oh fuck we gotta do it the slow way why does the biscuit have like a hole in it like, why does it look like a really tall donut? Is there any kind of biscuit that actually looks like that? Mmm, chocolate chip cookies sound good. I made sugar cookies up the other day because I was craving them and I wanted some with, like, you know, the, that sugar sprinkle stuff. And I found some really nice purple and aqua colored sprinkles. I still have some of those cookies. <laughs> now we can get some more of that sweet, sweet backroom action. Oh, yeah. Giggity. <laughs> Lily! Hello! Hi there. Talk. Agent York, just the person I wanted to see. Oh, really? It's about our storage room again. Um, it's a mess. But this time, the mess was caused by Keith. Is there any way I could get you to do another favor for me? <sighs> Let's get one thing straight, Lily. Just for the record, I didn't come here to organize your storage room. Actually, we did, York. 
And that's never. What just? What just? What? What just happened? What just happened? And that's never. Why is he? What's just York? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, we had to skip that because I don't know what just happened there. Oh, it's a bug. Cause there's a video of this happening. What? What? <laughs> Why is that a thing? What just happened? He just. There's a video that that's called "Deadly Premonition." He has a stroke. <laughs> I'm 12. What is this? Wow. I mean, you skip it and it's fine. Wow, we hold on a minute. <laughs> That's how I talk to girls, too. All right, well, we got past it technically. Don't think we Thank saved you, before the this. Room is this way. What even was that? I don't know what the rest of that conversation is, but whatever. Lily has given you further part-time work tidying up the milk bar and storeroom by pushing the boxes around. Honestly, they can't even be trying to keep it tidy in there. Okay. Let's see. No! That one looks like that's really obvious. It's the two over here I was worried about. If you push that one up, you can't get this one over. If you push that one into the corner... Um... Wait a minute. You can't get over there to push... Um, how do you get over to that one? Okay, push that one there. Oh no, that won't work either. Oh, wait. I think I see. I might have already messed this up. Wait. Push this one here. Push that in there. No, how do I get? Wait. That 
that one is there. That one. Okay, stop pushing. So I'm not pressing the button anymore. So this one goes in this corner, I think. Oh boy. That one goes there. Um. Yeah, I almost forgot about the stamina. Oh no! Shit! I was supposed to do that one last! Oh, fuck. Damn it. No, I don't want to reset. Sha. No. <laughs> ah. Push that one in. Push that one over. This isn't a very, like, now the star room is just inconvenient. Star room isn't nearly big enough. I don't know what happens though if you get York up to max stamina. Like, uh, well, not max stamina, but you exhaust him completely. This one can go in this corner now. And now I can push this one in place. God damn it. Box puzzles. Gotta love a good box puzzle, right? Right? Have you played watched Hitman? It's a good thing there's no stamina bar in that game with the amount of hanging by the fingertips Agent Yorg, Agent 47 for does. Here's um, your I haven't key. seen too much for Hitman. I mean, I know about it, but yeah, I haven't played it. Key to the and closet? What does this key open? It's the key to the closet in our garage. Closet? Yes, and there's something in there that's really valuable to keep. He says it's the most important thing in his life, second only to his family. I don't really see it in the same light. There are lots of other things in there, too. And you can help yourself. Which means this wasn't related to the investigation, after all? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trick you. <laughs> I just couldn't think of another way to get you to help. You're quite a woman, Lily. Only you would be able to get me to clean up that storage room three times. But it's a good thing. Helping people out feels good, after all. And we FBI special agents are all living and breathing heroes. Right, Zach? Thank you, Agent York. Sure. Don't let this stop you from coming by, will you? Keith and I both enjoy your company. Don't worry about that, Lily. I'll be back. Also, I'm so glad he didn't stroke out again. I... that was interesting. Well, sorry we didn't get to see the rest of that conversation, but there was nothing I could do about it except skip it, because it was just stuck. Uh, use the key for a closet. Obtain from Lily for your hard work to open up the closet in Keith's garage. He should be home in the afternoons on rainy days. Oh. Oh boy. Lily. Lily! A rainy day mission? How dare. 
How dare. Okay, let's double check our mission list real quick. Because it's still only 345 or 49. Good. Great. Amazing. Um, okay, we need to try and find Diane. Uh, can't do this one yet. We have to wait till chapter 11. Technically, we can do Thomas's, but that one has to wait until nighttime. Can't do that one yet. Ah, so it's back to waiting for it to rain to get into Keith's house. Besides the Emily quest and Thomas's, I think that's the only other ones that we have to do right now. Oh, okay, and Wesley. How many cards do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 46, 46! Shit, we need two more. We need two more for Wesley's quest. easiest way to get those are probably through mission replays. I don't know if the other two quests we need to do will get us um, cards or not. I need to go check the art museum. Ah, oh, Diane's there! And oh wait! There's that trading card behind the art museum! Okay. Art museum, museum's gallery. Okay. Diane's office. No, she should be in the gallery somewhere. I played the apparently divisive Hitman Absolutely Absolution. I liked it, but I don't have any frame of reference with earlier titles. I haven't played any of the Hitman games. I've seen videos of like people doing silly shit in them, but that's like it. I just they've never really attracted my attention, I guess. Diane, hello. If you don't mind me asking, where is he now? Huh? <sighs> oh, this is all ancient history. The woods, the pure little girl. My respect for my father. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, what just happened? Okay, that... That gave me no information. Diane is hiding something. Find the painting of the girl in the woods slumbering somewhere in the art gallery and give it to her. She may open up to you. Alrighty. Apparently that fucking... Okay. Apparently somewhere up here... Out here... I see a padlocked door through the window. I might be able to shoot the lock off from here. Ah. Okay. Pretty sure that wasn't there before, but I can't say I was looking. Let's use this infinite magnum we have.
Yeah, apparently that's the only the only reason for that room. If you were wondering, oh motherfucker. Wait, was that door closed before? Was that to this room? All right, here we go. Okay, no problems, Achachsu. You have a good night, yes. okay? Call this a painting. Thank you for tuning in. A bit primitive with poor composition. Hardly the work of a master. Oh, you're a Strangely critic now? Dark. It powerfully exudes a soft, warm feeling. On the back it says, Guardian of the Art Gallery. Fresh strokes. So someone added that recently. Guardian of the Art Gallery. Wouldn't that be Diane? And why is this painting here? This painting looks like someone just used a filter and Photoshop. Hmm. What's in this box? Get rid of this dumb steel pipe. Oh, just Agent Honor. Okay. Diane, where did you go? I just saw you. Diane? Diane? There you are. Hello, ma'am. Oh, Agent Hart Yard, how may I help you? Painting. I'd like to ask you about this painting. <laughs> I'm just gonna shove it in your face. Please, look at it. And why do you have this painting? That's a lot of mouth movement for a sigh. And it struck me as a little strange. Anything, even the smallest thing, can help me with the investigation. I truly doubt this painting would have anything to do with your investigation. On the back it says, Guardian of the Art Gallery. That's you, right? You're wrong, Agent York. That is me in the painting. But the guardian of the art gallery that it refers to is not me. Hmm? This was drawn by my father. He certainly wasn't a talented artist. But I was so happy when he gave me this painting. I used to love this painting so much. I wanted to hang it by the entrance of the gallery so everyone would see it. That way this painting would, in a sense, guard the gallery. But it was locked up in a small room. Not a nice way to treat the Guardian. Yeah. I was going to actually rotate the camera to look at it, but I didn't think of it until near the end of the cutscene. Shit. No. That'll be it. Apologies for prying and for bringing out this painting. No, she's it's you're okay. looking at the evil fog painting. It's nice to be able to talk about the past every so often. Here, take this. It's a small gift. Oh, neat. So that's... One card down. Zach. They say you have to look at the big picture. That was a painting of a little girl that was locked up in a gallery filled with paintings of trees. She'd be Alice if this was Wonderland. Sure. Bye now. I'm gonna go use your phone. Once I fucking find it, because I get lost in this goddamn art museum. That's actually me in real life art museums, though. I go to the DI. Well, I used to go to the DIA quite a lot, and I'd still occasionally get lost in there. And I don't know how that keeps happening, but it did. Kept happening. Words. I don't work with words for a reason. Hey, she was in Resident Evil. What? Who are you referring to? Diane, I'm, I'm, I know, but like which character? And there's still a whole nother card behind. Aye. The card's blocking the way. We'd be able to get through if we could move it somehow. Um. Okay. I, I don't know what he wants me to do with that. I mean, I could crash my car into it, but that would probably hurt me more than that car. Why is there a sleeping area behind this museum? Already? I don't think- I hope I don't have to move that car 
Let me go spend a lock on that. Nope, I have to move that card just to get back there to get that card. Great, amazing. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, more onions. Okay, that's interesting. So a lot of these sleeping areas just have like an infinitely spawning supply of something behind it or near it. Deadly premonition art gallery card. Oh, okay. I can't move that car. I have to wait until the game wants it to be gone. Meaning I have to play through the story. But unfortunately we're not progressing the story any further right now because I want to do these last few other side quests before this chapter ends so I don't forget about them. Which is mainly Thomas's and trying to get into the Ingram's house when it's raining. Have we been to the Galaxy of Terror? Apparently we have because it's on my list. Okay. So we just did a Sigourney mission, so we can't do another one till chapter 11. Can't do those until later. This one we can't do because we're missing one card. Um. Well, we could do it. We'd have to do probably an Outer World replay real quick. Galaxy of Terror sounds like a cheesy old sci-fi movie or an RPG system. Yeah, it does. Okay, those other ones we can't do. Can't do those. Well, we could probably do another Emily mission now that it's a new chapter. It's just a matter of waiting for it to rain. Um... Hospital. <sighs> All right. This is probably going to be the last thing I do tonight. We're going to do a quick run through of the hospital to go get that card. Actually, that sounds like a lie. I want to set up those other side quests first. I just want to get them out of the way. Because once I get those ones out of the way, I'd be fine with moving the story ahead a bit more. And luckily, these uh, other world replays, we just have to run through and get the card and leave. to find the room with the MRI machine. Um, also, we are not using the steel pipe for this. I want it out. I guess I could always toss it. Oh, great. Enemy is in the way and I couldn't hit through it. Good. Is this the MRI, MRI room? No, this is just a bathroom. I mean, I'll take a stabilizer. Not that I use them, but... There's a rip-off Silent Hill nurses need to GTFO.
Oh shit. Okay, that that kind of scared me because I wasn't expecting her to be that fucking close. Whew. Wait a minute. Did I'm lost? Did we come from here? No. Oh fuck. This isn't the right room. I mean, I guess I could use that stabilizer now just to make running through here a bit easier. Nope, the door's locked. Yeah, I don't remember where the fuck the MIRI room was in here. It wasn't down here either. There's just Agent Honor down here. I don't actually know why I'm going down here because I know this. Well, if I keep following the Agent Honor, I think we should get to the room. Because we had to go in there to get a card key anyway. I don't. Did we come in here before? Why am I getting payment details here? Why is- Okay then. I mean, I guess you could stay in the- That door's locked. Did I run past it? No, it's there. God, this music is trying so fucking hard. Okay, we gotta go the long way around. And this hallway is totally safe. It's just like a Metal Gear Solid. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. Okay. Dead end. I don't like this level because it has so many narrow hallways. Oh, I guess the lumber mill is like that too though, huh? Oh shit! You guys are too close to the fucking door. Okay. Motherfucker. Oop. Armed shadow. Okay. Here's our card that I wanted. Now we just need to find one of the exit doodads. I know I just saw one. But we're actually, I think, close to just this level's exit in general. I'll just take all those. Oh, yeah. Uh... Alright, that's card 48. Oh, shit. Oh, goddammit. Fine. I'm just gonna wait for you to get out of my way. Ooh, shit. They're trying to shoot me. That's not good. Okay. The fog is thinning. I've had enough for now. Yeah, leave. What was that? What number was that? Was it 39? Yeah, 39. I need to cross some of these out better. I'm using a pin, so you think I'd be able to tell that they're crossed out, but... Okay, so we should be able to talk to Wesley tonight. Um, and then we need to talk to Thomas. 
And unfortunately, we need to wait for it to rain to do the other two quests that we have. I don't remember what time panda bears open to though. Deadly premonition panda bear hours. We have panda bear as a fast travel now, right? Yes, we do. Good. It's open from 20 to 6. Okay, lad. I want to do these ones first before we end for the night. Okay, we only have to wait four hours for this place to open. Going back to the cat thing, luckily my cat, she doesn't... Um... She doesn't like going outside. She doesn't like doing much except sleeping and eating which is fine but my dog annie she would attempt to run out of the house whenever she had the chance to and even though she was a fat dog near the end of her life she could bolt hello wesley hmm. talk you not found out. new cards show them to me i said did we not get it i'm pretty sure we accounted right More than 48. More than? You've done well. Whatever, I appreciate fine. you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Ooh, a new suit. Dancing all night. That'll help you with your heart rate when you wear it. Oh. Hold on to it, okay? If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? That might be useful for just rerunning back through the Shadow Worlds. Okay, top collector is the last one, and that one we can only finish by getting all 64. So we have to get the last 20 or so of them. I forgot that the mission list showed when Panda Bear is open too, I didn't have to go google it. My cat in this case, Morty, is just a dog. He comes when you whistle for him. He likes belly rubs, rolls in a in, around in dirt, and you can even play fetch with him. He's precious. Aw, that's cute. My kitty is an old lady and just likes to sleep and eat and, you know, be paid attention to when she wants it. Which is fine with me. My mom was really worried when I asked to get a cat because she didn't want one that jumps up on counters, but my cat doesn't like heights. The highest she'll go is like couch or bed level. She won't go any higher than that. Oh, it's open now. Okay. This opened earlier than I thought it did. Internet said 2200 hours. Some of these times that they have listed on online aren't always right. Thomas, Hello. you work as a bartender at night? Yes, well, it's my sister's bar, but she can't do everything by herself. How's business? Not great after, well, you know, but people are bouncing back. They're carrying on with their lives slowly but surely, but I'm still finding it hard to work at the sheriff's. I feel so sad. Everyone deals with grief differently, that's all. Don't worry about it too much. Well, since I'm here now anyway, how about making a cocktail for me? I'll make you something extra special for you, Agent York. Let's see what they have. Not, I don't think we need anything. Keeps me from getting sleepy. The Exorcist. Pancakes? Oh, they're actual pancakes. Okay. Pizza. Oyster stew. Pumpkin muffin. Whitefish. Many way. How do you say this word? 
I don't actually know how to say this word. I was watching a video where someone was playing Breath of the Wild. It was like one of those quick like run through videos. Oh, I remember they were like, can you beat certain shrines in Breath of the Wild by not doing... <sighs> what were they doing? Oh, by not picking up items? Yeah, by not uh, opening the menu. And he, he kept, when he was doing the mission where you have to make the little bird girls their, their fish dish, he kept calling it manure, and unfortunately it got stuck in my head as that <laughs> when I see it. Hey look, mashed potatoes. Oh, the is not here. He won't uh, appreciate the mashed potatoes. Um, uh, let's get some pancakes real quick. Mmm, pancakes sound good right now too. A cat who doesn't like heights, so that's unusual. Yeah, she's... She's not keen on the heights. Hello. That means she doesn't like being picked up, but I know most cats don't like that either. <sighs> What's up, Thomas. Thomas? Something on your mind? Actually, Agent York, something has been bothering me recently. Bothering you? How? Well, there's this customer who always gives Carol trouble. Is it affecting business? He probably doesn't mean to, but well, yes. <laughs> Talk about your cookies. I had to get up and get my cookies. Why don't you just arrest him? Well, you see, he's not exactly breaking the law. No violence. He hasn't physically attacked her or anything. I understand, Thomas. If it's bothering you, then I'll take care of it. What? Aren't you busy with the investigation, Agent York? That won't be a problem. So tell me about this unwanted customer. Well, he isn't here right now. He usually comes in after 2100. I'll take a look in from time to time. This one apparently is a bit annoying because we might have to wait a while to, well, a day before said offender comes in. What's this, number nine? Wait 24 hours and head back to the bar after 2200. Ugh. That's fine, I just wanted to get it triggered. Alright, bye Thomas. Wait. So I know this is in here. We haven't actually been in here before, I don't think. I think we've looked in the window and that's it. My other cat, Mins, is the laser one. She tends to just nap and hang out in my room. Comes over for petting almost every day I wake up, though, which is just adorable. Her name comes from her polydactylism. So her front paws actually look like mittens with extra digits. Oh. Oh, shit. I'll save again just to be safe. Unnecessary, but... I like it when cats and dogs have like those little like socks from their fur. Like it's like little socks. That's like my favorite. These cookies I made them are, are all crumbly right now. It makes me a bit sad. It means I also have to vacuum later now that I ate them over here. Okay. What we're gonna do, because I need it to rain again. Of course, Galaxy of Terror, I don't think does open when it rains. But there's two things I need it to rain for, which is Emily mission number three, which is the last one. And this mission with Keith. I'll try once right now to get it to rain. If it doesn't rain, then we'll just go back to the Galaxy of Terror and then we'll call it. not raining.
that's fine. Of course, as we saw earlier, it can start raining while you're just out and about walking. Which is a bit obnoxious, but you know. Hmm. Thing is, is waiting here, I'm going to starve. Probably. And it's only 8 o'clock, meaning nothing is open. And I can't eat the diner right now anyway. Because Olivia won't serve me right now. I don't know why I didn't just take the car over here. You know what? No, I'm lazy. Fuck it. Unsurprisingly, these cookies of mine were better when they were fresh. I might have to make chocolate chip ones up later. I'm pretty sure I still have chocolate chip cookie dough in there. And nothing opens until 9 o'clock! can't go through that door because you're not supposed to open it for whatever reason. Well, actually. Okay. No rain today. Hello. <laughs> okay. Nothing new here. We're not going to watch that. Okay, back to the investigation. I need to solve this one quickly. Oh, York. Haven't you learned by now? No. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. How silly of him. To assume I'm going to progress with the investigation. Chua. No. Not right now. Nothing gets solved quickly around here. Not with us around. We demand side quests. Yes. Yes, we do. I actually think... I know I could just go stand outside the bar and smoke for a bit, but I think I'm actually going to run out to the crash site. Okay, that's actually a lot closer than I thought it was. Um, because that's the only other, um, well, other world that we have unlocked right now that we can even do a replay for. So we're just gonna get it done and over with. Cause that area I don't have a fast travel to. I have to drive all the way over there. Again, it's just down the fucking road, but still. This last Wesley side quest, we can't actually like get done fully until closer to end game because we need some of these other like areas unlocked. So, where shall we go next? To spooky forest, where we crashed our car. You know, good memories there. Where we crashed our car. It was great. Remember, we went flying off the road and saw squirrels that sounded like monkeys. We got all the cards that we needed to fish for. Most of the cards that we have left, I'm pretty sure, are unfortunately side quest cards and replay cards. I just, I just passed it. I wonder what happens if we kept driving. Wait, is this not the right one? This isn't the right... 
Yes, it is. It just wasn't popping up on the map. Okay, that's annoying. was overly dramatic music for just loading the thing. Okay. We have a few of these, so I'm just gonna pop one right now. Oh no, I don't need any more fucking poles. Hey, I was told this car was taken out of the woods. Why is it here? First time I'm in here too, I went the wrong goddamn way. Wow, the sculpting on his back looks even worse when he's in the rain. Hey look, rain! Shame it doesn't carry over. I'm sorry, did this oh okay, I meant to go to own faster. I was say, did that stabilizer I took do any fucking thing? makes it go down faster. Nope, fuck you. This area isn't so bad because all these paths are pretty wide. Okay. Nope, it's the generator room with the raincoat killer's axe in it. Which is further down. That's a dead end. Okay, I lied. This area might be the obnoxious area because we're on these thin walkways. I don't know why I'm stopping to pick up lollipops that I'm not going to use. Okay, I probably could have ran by her. Actually, even these walkways seem to be a little bit wider. Let me guess, I went the wrong, I went the wrong way, didn't I? can't tell. <sighs> yep, I went the wrong way. Wait, or did I? I don't know. I can't tell. It's been a while since we've getting through here, so I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. You also have to be careful, because swinging your your weapon also affects your stamina. Okay, 38. Oops, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, cool, and there's an exit portal right here. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, shit. Why do they have those, those selection options? They're completely useless to... No problem, leave. Okay, and that was card 38. Now some of these cards you don't get until like much later in the game. Alright. Actually, no, what am I doing? Okay, and now we'll go to the Galaxy of Terror and finish that one up. I think that one gets us another card, too. Wait, did we get card 11? Yes, it's not uh, across the... Hold on, let me double check. Okay, we're missing 15, 21... 27, 28. All those. Wait. Uh, 
44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, it's not labeled properly on my list. 50, 57, 62, okay, and technically 65, we don't have to get, well, you can't get until I think you beat the game anyway, so that one's not needed for, for Wesley's side quest. I don't know why I went out of the menu again. All right. I need to wait till 2200, so that's what, 10 o'clock. We might get hungry before then, though. I think we have some stuff we can eat. Yeah, and we got all the fishing cards, so we don't have to do that anytime soon. I think we're done fish- Yeah, I think we're done fishing for- Aw, oh, we're stinky agent again. Oh, well, it's fine. That'll make us more intimidating when we, uh, confront Carol's stalker, I guess. Alrighty. That person is Jack, because he's the only other named character in this bar. Hey, Jack. You're in a good mood tonight. I've got nothing to say to the cops. I'm glad to see you haven't changed one bit since our last conversation. I take it you have a thing for Carol. <laughs> now that's no business of yours, is it? It is if you're disturbing the peace here and obstructing business. So what are you gonna do about it? Tell me, Jack. What makes you so hot for Carol? Huh? That's a weird question. Ah, she's hot. A total babe. She's hotter than anyone I know. What about than Gina? Anyone you know? Oh yeah, baby. She's number one. That's why I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Jack. She don't know what I do outside the house. It's none of her business. I see. So you wouldn't mind if I play the tape of this conversation back to her? You're not wired. My job requires me to record every conversation that I have. But your wife won't mind, will she? Even though she isn't number one? You dirty s You want to make a deal? Is he bluffing? I'll give you a deal if you come by the stand. Is, just, is Jack just too dumb to call my bluff? Or... I... God, those flies. <laughs> Fucking... I almost had a heart attack. What were you going to do if things turned ugly? The odds were against him, Thomas. We wouldn't lose in a two versus one fight in a bar. Two against one? You mean you were counting me? <laughs> you must be kidding. I'm joking, Thomas. I I've have never Zach. seen a situation like that actually turn into a barroom brawl. I find that hard to believe. FBI agents must be really good at handling situations like that. It's amazing you guys really record every single conversation you have. What are you talking about, Thomas? I don't carry around a recording device. I'm not Agent really? Cooper. But you said... You mean you were just bluffing? Yes. <laughs> I mean, we are technically recording every conversation he has, well, but... I'm still impressed by your FBI tactics. <laughs> it looks like it's your turn to be bribed. It isn't much of a thank you gift, but please, take this. <laughs> take this trading card of my sister. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. I appreciate it. Zach, wasn't that fun? Sure. Now, if you're not familiar in Twin Peaks, Cooper, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this. He, um, he records thoughts on a, a tape recorder, um, addressed to his secretary. I don't remember what her name was. Also, I just 
I, I realized I just called Dale Cooper D.B. Cooper, but his initials are D.B. Cooper, so it's not technically wrong. I'm just not talking about that unsolved, you know, robbery case, D.B. Cooper. It's not Diane. What's the name of Coop's? Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. But he, he records a lot of stuff. And not necessarily conversations, but... Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fucking shit. Well... We did save right before that. Good. Oh! Oop. Damn it! I'm not as mad because we just saved. <laughs> but that's about right, isn't it? We'll just skip that cutscene. Yeah, I was just about to go save and quit. Um, but the game didn't want me to, I suppose. Fine. Oh no, it is Diane that he records his tapes to. Yeah, it is a good thing that they put those telephones everywhere. I don't think it was as easy to save in like the original version. I think for the director's cut they made that change, but I'm not fully sure. Previously during the investigation. Let's see if this is okay. Nope, this hasn't changed. Well, if anything, this is just going to test to see if our fucking save file works. I was actually worried about it. It's like, okay, I was thinking to myself, I'll just test it after the stream. I'll close out and reopen it. But nope, looks like everything's fine. I think we got past most of the chapter 9 issues. Doesn't guarantee we made it past anything else that could cause an issue later in the game, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. It's a shame we can't skip waiting here for fucking ever. Oh, Dentally Premonition, you scamp. It's like it knew I was about to quit. It's like, no, don't go. I was cooperating with you today. It's either that or it's like, but I haven't caused you enough trouble yet. You can't leave yet. It's one of the two. Stinky agent. I don't know why I didn't save after the mission. There's phones in here. I could have just saved in here. I wanted to go change first. Okay, we're gonna skip that. How did you know? I... Or... Zach wasn't I didn't know point. you actually recorded your conversation. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Tom. I'm gonna save now. Okay. There. All finished. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call it for tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry we didn't get as far along in the story as I wanted to, but we should be at the point where the only way to finish up the remaining side missions we have is to do story anyway. Um, which is one reason why I want to get them out of the way. If you look here, like, we, we have to progress in the chapters just to do these. Um, same with Lysanders. There's gonna be a little bit of dicking around next time because we need it to rain to finish this one and... And another 
Emily one, but other than that, it shouldn't be too, too much running around. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on Monday for more Pokemon Shield. But until then, take care. Okie doke. Alright, bye.